Hello everybody, it is Wednesday, August 9th. It is, in fact, a little rainy out here in Los Angeles. Yeah, it's actually a beautiful summer day, a little overcast, but it's a beautiful 80 degrees, a little bit drizzle. So drizzle. Kind of surprised me that it's raining out here, but that's what it is. It's August. Uh, today's episode is sponsored by Nobody. By viewers like you. Don't bring out the whole Don't bring out the cappuccino. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like my coffee dark. You gotta feel like Al Pacino. Together we're stronger. Together we're stronger. Together we're stronger. Together we're stronger. Probably should have kept that to yourself, my guy. My guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. Wow. That was fucking Mind powerful. bending. Oh, and then we still, oh, <laughs> the filter drops away. <laughs> Stunning, beautiful collaboration by uh, Zach and Ian, as usual. Tremendous stuff here, guys. Thank you. Uh, I said today's episode was not sponsored, but that's not quite true, is it? Because tomorrow, Teddy Fresh is coming out with a new collection that is honestly so... Okay, first of all, so nice. This shirt, mm. so nice. Harry, love how you love in that shirt. It's sick, dude. So clean. Thanks, bro. Just Anyone else? Perfect collars. Like, I, these are my collars. And it fits. This fit is oh, yeah. great. Dude. And it's like a... Um, Coast is like a nice Terry. Terry. Yeah, I think, I think that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. it's Terry. Anyone else rocking uh, some TF? Right here, one? dude. Let's see. I oh, yeah, that's trip. also a Terry one, isn't it? I, I, it fits me so well. Like, it's Thanks. the perfect fit for me. Oh, Lena, come here. Lena's got... Oh, Jesus, Shredder. Shredder. <laughs> He's still alive, folks. <laughs> still yes, still. I love that shirt, too. I'm baggy. Okay, girl. You wear them baggy. Yeah, so that's a nice shirt that's coming out. Long sleeve. Uh, anyone else? I am. I'm wearing a one of the sweaters. A B. Got one. I think everybody's wearing something. Dan's got the iconic classic that's not part of this collection, but it might be on the website. A B, what you got? I think it's a restock or a Dan. new color or something. Dan! Oh, you got the jacket? Oh, you got the undershirt? Yeah. You can't really see the details. This is what she's wearing. It's really jacket. so oh. sick, dude. Every time the collection gets sick. nicer and nicer, and then, uh, oh, Olivia has the uh, iconic vintage denim look. <clears throat> yes. Anyone else? I was going to wait till Friday to wear mine, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to put it on now. Okay. We love that. You take that Robert Smith shit off right now. <laughs> oh, this jacket is sick. It's the same pattern, Zach, but it's like on a bomber jacket. Love mm -hmm. it. It's nice. We got the bucket hat also just came out. There's the bucket. The bomber. Oh, this shirt is. I was gonna wear this, but I can't because it has green in it. But uh, oh, and crushing it with the socks. Hello. Mm-hmm. Teddyfresh.com. Okay. Rocking the denim, my friend. Love that. Cheers, my dude. Oh shit. What? That's what I got right now. Yo, I need that one. Where? Uh, oh, you. That's the one you're wearing, Cal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, dude. Love that. Perfect for a day like today. A little drizzle for shizzle. Loving this piece. It's a skirt shirt, actually. And I know his songs is this is the one he's going to want to want for sure. Because yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for la the ladies. Uh, <laughs> you know, dress shirt with all kinds of fun stuff. I will accomplish nothing today. I think that's a restock. This sweater is also a restock, I think. Oh, uh, that's looking good. Color block uh, uh, sweater. <laughs> Shirt. Jacket. Jacket. Off. Jacket Soccer off. mom shirt. High fashion stuff, guys. Don't look away. Don't There's look away. more. Jesus. Uh, Jesus. Bucket hats. Cool shirts. That's when Lena was wearing in a different colorway. Oh, the chunky. Didn't I see someone wearing this? Oh, no, Lena was in a shirt. I was. Oh, she took it off. Yeah. Got it. Oh, yeah, dude. Come on. Stand back, Louis Vuitton, Gucci. There's a new pattern in town. That's right. 
Oh, mesh? That's kind of fire. Zach, would you wear that? I would wear that. It's fucking dope. I'm gonna see your nipples under your fuck yeah. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Maybe no, I got I got good nibs. I got good nibs. And you got nice nibs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. And uh, just a little good. graphic tee, <laughs> and that's it. So thank you guys. That's all coming out tomorrow. Wow, what a spread! At 10 a.m. PST. That's Teddy Fresh. Thank you, and well done to the Teddy Fresh team. All right, we got a fair bit of things to talk about here. We got a good show here, which is, you know. A welcome respite. And it's a rainy day in Los Angeles. So yesterday I did Howie's show, which was his first ever live show. And I oh, and I kept asking Howie, are you sure? Are you sure you want me to oh. be your first live guest? Because in my studio, I have two buttons for me and my executive producer that I'm can gonna read it. erase the last 30 seconds. They seem to think that I was the one to go live with. And uh, we did have, I think there was a few moments there he would have liked to have cut if he could have. Yeah, what, what was the logic? Because, yeah, that seems like a bad idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he said, listen, I want to do live just because it's exciting. It makes me nervous. I, I don't get, get nervous that. in my career anymore. Right. I'm not going to read it. I try to talk him out of it. <laughs> Fuck you. You know, and God, Howie, God love him. He he's invested in this tech called Proto, <laughs> which is incredible technology. Uh, but they they unveiled they unveiled a new product, and I don't think it was quite ready for prime time. Did you hear his uh, pre-show music? By any chance? I heard you asking about that. Do you want me to ask where they got that? No, oh, we so, got it. We got it. <laughs> oh, you got it. I, I tested it. Shout what? out to uh, our mod Blizzard Woofy for getting it, but um, a little silly, kind of Dude. a little mischievous, right? Mm -hmm. it's like, a little, it's like a little Home Alone. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Beepa, beepa, beepa. loompa, doompa I think it's a good vibe for Howie. Yeah, it's like, he's a little goofy. He's a little wholesome, though. You know, America's uncle. Yeah, of course, I got goofed on plenty by you guys, as usual. Thank you, everybody. Ow. Here's my photo, and you know, every time last time I did Howie's, I had a crazy shot, and so here's my new one, I guess. My legs, you. These, this is not edited. It's not. There's a close up <laughs> on the next link in the doc. That's fuck. That's bullshit. That's edited. That. That is not an edit. <laughs> look at the, look at the, it's got like artifacts. <laughs> Did they edit it? It's definitely edited. It, it, no, I think it's Could be between your legs. Here, let me see. Yeah, here's the zoom in. I just zoomed in, so. This is definitely an edit. <laughs> Nobody has legs like that. Why do you have like the lowest camel toe of all time? <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but between your legs, I do not have a twenty incher, so I think it's just the fold. Yeah, I mean, I have fat boy pants, it's and clearly, I think it's time to. Right, no, it's just they're in motion. I put on some of one of my pants that I used to wear, one of my shorts I used to like wearing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, cargo! So these ones. Oh my. <laughs> these ones fit a little better, but they're still pretty wide, I guess. But they're better, right? Um, yeah, that doesn't look, well, yeah, actually, I don't know, they're still pretty yeah. fucking wide, holy shit. Yeah, that looks, that looks, yeah. But my leg, uh, do a flip. <laughs> my legs don't look like that, dude. I have normal ass legs. So it's just an angle thing? There's no way that wasn't edited. Stop it. Stop fucking with me. That was edited. <laughs> hey, send me the original picture, please. That is the original, here, hold on. Show me what Howie posted, you scam artist. <laughs> Show me Howie's post. Give me one Nothing. second. Let's see, with peace of love, please get smaller shorts for your body. Yes, I know. Thank you. They're pretty big. They're pretty big. They look Serving 2017 Billie Eilish. I think I could jump out of an airplane and land safely with these <laughs> pants. Fuck you! Here All right, is here is a post there. from Howie's YouTube channel. This is un unless... Dude, Howie edited this. What the fuck, dude? It looks like I'm... <laughs> I don't be a dick, but it looks like I have cancer or something. <laughs> what? I mean, what? it looks like I'm one day away from... 
What do you mean by Look that? Look at my leg. This is like working. Like skin, hard on your skin and bones, dude. I think I it's... Mm, maybe the wide angle kind of stretched you a little it's bit. It's an angle thing, because these guys, they have me on, and they plot ahead of time to create the most fucked up angle <laughs> yes. to screw with me Did and you, my body. <laughs> Thanks, you Howie. You've so got tiny. to eat your skin and bone. Also, You've I'm taller than Howie, just for the record. Uh, I am taller than Howie. Howie rocks them uh, platform Converse a lot. You guys have seen me next to him. I tower over Howie Mandel. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the show was fun. I, I love those guys. Howie asked me to do anything, I'd say yes. You know what I mean? He's, he's like, as I say, a national treasure. Although, I, um, I learned recently, maybe I knew this, but I forgot. He's from Canada. So, oh, not sure about how I feel about the national treasure. That's a bummer. Huh. He's, he's a national treasure wait, of America. Wait, I've been he's, saying he's America's uncle all this time. He's Canada's he's a, uncle? What the fuck? He lives here. He's a, My yeah, life is alive. Okay. Can he renounce his Canadian citizenship? I mean, I hope so. I can so. text him. I'll text him. <laughs> Howie, can Can't you renounce... live far away? Oh, Howie's watching right now. He said, I didn't edit or plot that picture. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit, Howie. <laughs> Explain that shit then, because I don't... It doesn't make sense. It's not possible to have legs that look like that. Show us! Look at this. Also, why does it look like I'm five feet tall? <laughs> this is not okay. Mm. I'm not going on this show again. You're standing way behind them. Thank it you, It takes Olivia. him a second to get on no the way. stool because he's <laughs> under five feet tall. Hey, come on. <laughs> look at how great they look in the overalls. Yeah, they're the best. They are the best. <laughs> he is the greatest. Show us! You want me to take a picture? Yeah, take a picture of my legs. Let's post them on Twitter. I mean, they are pretty, I guess, pretty thin. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, skinny, right? Skinny ledge. We're taking a photo of my legs. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. Oh, okay, hold on. I think it was edited, actually. No shit, bro. Yeah, yeah we got the original. I can't dug up the original. Oh, come on, you guys. That's not helpful at all. Damn, bro. Are you skipping leg day? No wonder he was playing that fucking music. Okay, I know that one's edited. Nah, like Spongebob. <laughs> My legs are not that thin. You got chicken legs, dude. <laughs> he looks like Spongebob. <laughs> you would be creeping around the house to this music with those I'm legs. Spongebob? Where's Ariana? <laughs> Here, let's look at the pic I just sent. Alright, sent. So we have a new... Dude, that's edited. <laughs> I would have no time to edit that. Why does... Why does my legs look like that? Why? But look how it's all stretched out. Look at my feet. You have a natural turnout. Look at look You're how it stretches my feet, bro. There's something iffy about this it's photo the, too. It's the <laughs> wide angle. Well, so then why you got to do the stretchy wide part on my legs? Stretchy wide part. Because I wanted to see if that was the problem. I don't like any of this stuff. <sighs> We're gonna have to do a leg lineup where we have just do our show our. Our shins down. Sure. <laughs> Try to pick us out of a lineup. <laughs> well, anyway, um, there's us. And then uh, here was my, f I guess, favorite part, you might say. Right yeah, now, so right? Howie brought out the, uh, and I love you, Howie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> uh, I can testify the the real proto, which we um, showcased right before this, because I'll, I'll be fair to the product and show it off. Here, uh, this this was very nice of this guy to call in a great comedian. I don't remember his name, but Craig, he's the dude. He did was in Reno 911. He's oh, all kinds of yeah. fun stuff. Right, right. Oh, right, wasn't yeah. he also in D Napoleon Dynamite? He was his brother, right? Maybe. Yeah. Very Is funny guy. So he he called in to heckle me uh, via the magic of Proto. So I'm gonna show the good before I show the disaster. Mm -hmm. To be fair to Howie. Observation. So basically what we did is he he was taken. So, you know, there's chestnuts, you guys, like in the chat. Capital e, and that's how not the uh, same actor, we, by the way. we ended up with that H3, H3. Okay. So, so, hey, hey, Howie, can you do me a favor next time? Can you not light it so that, like, I look like Uncle Fester? Not in makeup? You look fine. Can we get some front lighting, please? Oh, wow. I'm just, I'm giving a hard time. Vain. I'm giving a hard time. That's it. Okay. Being silly. Stop.
Stop. It's how, uh, it's just we, mad about the leg up, thing, so <laughs> up with that H3, H3. Okay, so, so and I, I don't interrupt your myth here, interrupt here, but the, that correct then. So, so that was the, the technology is amazing. He was in a box live from New York. Terrific technology. I wish I could say the same thing about it will soon, no, no, soon to be terrific technology. That's what I'll say about it. But right now I have a, uh, like a robot in the box, the proto box. I can't see inside of it. You don't have to see. You can listen to him. You can you come here a, and do you see him. Do you have a question? Sure. What, what do you want to ask? Is semen good for, for plants? Okay. If I, uh, we had said, I don't remember. Oh, yeah. We had said that uh, apparently Harvey Weinstein had, was coming in plants or something. And I had wondered, I wonder if that is what? good for plants. Because I've heard urinating on plants. <laughs> Can offer some unique nutritional. Uh, Is that a real thing, though? Urinating the, on plants? No, the the, <laughs> the Harvey Weinstein aspect. Apparently, it was in somebody's testimony that like he had nowhere to bust, so he busted in his plant. Right. Lauren Sylvan's story about Harvey Weinstein shooting into a potted plant. There it is. And it said that plant turned into Jack's magical beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. In the soil, how does that affect the plant? You can listen, listen. I'll just put up mic up there. Mm -hmm. So I don't think Howie knows much Board about like where one. AI technology's at. Good for plants. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know about my familiarity with ChatGPT, and I didn't have the heart to tell him. Proto is thinking. As an AI hologram. Right. That was a very <laughs> thorough response. Thank you, Protobot. And the oh thing is, I wasn't sure if he was fucking with me, but oh, he really okay. started to sweat. As he you was can having see, like AI a panic attack. Is, oh, no. is, uh, is semen bad for plants? You know, it's bleeding edge technology, Howie. It doesn't always work, and I understand. <laughs> is semen bad for plants? <laughs> yeah, and you can actually get one of these uh, for $6,000. Yeah, they're available now. <laughs> really? Tell yeah. me if semen I mean, having that powerful technology in a room of your home. You know, just a I wonder iPad? if it's the question. Maybe it's it's. Stumped. I don't. I really don't know. I don't have personal preferences or opinions, but in general, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that semen benefits plant growth. We already knew that. We knew that there okay. was no science okay. behind yeah. it. Yeah, it, it landed right. that I mean, one. Yeah, that's a fair that. response. I don't. I don't expect the the AI to do like. It's best to stick with traditional methods of plant care. Okay. Okay. Well, that's an opinion. Make a poem about Howie Mandel and Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Make a poem it, it, about it, Howie Mandel and Ethan. So Clark the owner of this company, on plant. <laughs> his office is here in the studio. And he was right outside freaking out. And I don't think Howie was willing to move on until it like successfully undertook a command. Mm -hmm. So it went on for a really long time. <laughs> Please include coming on a plant, Howie. This is gonna... Okay. When can we buy these, Howie? Hello. Create a... Not gonna... <laughs> they, I'm telling you this is... I'll tell you what this is. Wow. This You're... is amazing technology. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. No, listen to me. Stop oh, laughing. cutting edge. Okay. Yes, and that works all the way. We put a piece of film on the front so that you can't see it clear on the camera. Right. You know, that you, so you... But Howie, it's just one put, button This is pushing. amazing technology. I put a piece of film on the front so the camera can see it so it's not blowing out. So it's actually not feeling my finger. So maybe, can you take the film off? And then it'll blow up because it's so bright for the people at home. But this is the M. You can have this one in your house. This is the proto guy the whole time. Oh, yeah. I, need, I need one of those in every he, room. He came running I will in. get you one. Watch. Hi. <laughs> he came running okay. in at the end. <laughs> Poor guy. Hello. <laughs> You're like Hello. Trying to keep Talk it to me about Ethan Klein. <laughs> it's live. I was just thinking. <laughs> I bet he loved I mean, this is the ma this is this is what you get when Very you go live, you know. This, you gotta, this is the magic. Yeah, you got to test drive that thing a little that's bit. Mm. <laughs> she said her, his name. Ow. She, that's it. And what more can you say than that? <laughs> she said it all. <laughs> she said it all. 
And that's why I love... The co-host of the popular H3 podcast <laughs> and one half of the YouTube channel H3H3 H3 Productions is known for his witty commentary and satirical style. Very flattering. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, laugh while delving into various... I like what I'm hearing. <laughs> He's starting well, to sweat balls, so. dude. He's stressing for real. She likes you. It was all nice stuff. That was, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Proto. Wow, what a, what a... <laughs> He's wow. panicking. That one is, that like one real is panic. Bad, uh, that time that they showed windows. My dad's sweating. Blue My dad's screen of death. <laughs> well, it does work perfectly. <laughs> they put this stupid... Are you stressing about this? Oh, this looks bit? so yeah. good. A little bit. This is wasn't ready. This wasn't ready for showtime. Prime time. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> He's sweating, dude. <laughs> it's your well, the good, well, the good I mean, sorry. this is gold. It, it is. It, it is gold. It, it was is the best part. People in the comments are gonna be like, "Oh, so horrible." The episode today, he couldn't get that machine to work right. <laughs> no, I, this was everyone's favorite part. <laughs> I know. My you can see him glistening. You see? Yeah. It's nice and cool in there. Trust me. <laughs> He's drowned out the world. He's just thinking this has to work. Hologram. I am here to assist and provide information based on your inquiries. Okay. All right. If you have any specific concerns or preferences regarding our conversation, please let me know, and I'll do my best to assist you accordingly. Well, this is about Klein. What's he looking at? The the, the mic? The <laughs> like, look all the way up saying. to the roof. Oh my god. Stands a man named Ethan. Just <laughs> Trying to think, but nothing happens. Thank you, girl. We love you, girl. <laughs> we love you. <laughs> hey, so hi, In his unique way. Okay, okay. With humor and satire, he brings laughter and cheer. Mm -hmm. Ethan yeah. Klein, a creative <laughs> whole day. Okay. From H3H3 H3 Productions to the H3 laughter Podcast's delight. He tackles topics with wit, shining bright. His commentary sharp, his jokes are grand. Wow. Ethan's presence is felt across the land. The problem is she keeps going. With Hyla by his side, a dynamic duo they make. <sighs> creating content that keeps us wide awake. Look how sweaty he is. Very good. From reaction videos to sketches so fine. All right, she can wrap Ethan it up. Ethan Klein's comedic genius she can wrap continues it up. to shine. <laughs> wrap it up. Through controversies <laughs> and internet trends. Ethan stays true, never that pretending was... to blend. He's, he's he voices his thoughts with a humorous way. He just shows her. Drawing fans in with his comedic snare. Let it finish. So here's to Ethan, a YouTube king. Spreading laughter and joy, making our hearts sing. May his videos continue to bring us good. Ethan Klein, he's a creative person. Wrap it up, lady. Okay. <laughs> wrap it no. up. Okay, that's done. That's was, was a good. That was good. So uh, you. That was really a good poem. <laughs> it was. I wanted to do something the other day. Right. We talked to. Uh, you want to move past? You want to move quickly past <laughs> this, or can I talk about it? <laughs> so. No, now you're talking, Dad. To <laughs> I wanted to talk about what happened. <laughs> can we talk about what just happened, <laughs> Howie, or no? <laughs> So it can be a versatile word used as a conjunction. Was this a big? Why did you want to do this live? Was this a big showcase for you? Yes. Yeah, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Look, can you tell he's sweating? He's sweating. No, I got saw him. I got worried about him. I said, oh yeah, yeah. All right, stop. Poor Howie. I felt so bad. Have you seen when the Microsoft the Microsoft does like a presentation of their new product and then they get like the blue screen of death? Doesn't matter. No. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Anyway, the thing it's is, like it was great. Cyber truck... It ended up working. That's him running in. <laughs> it ended up working. <laughs> the the creator. <laughs> it's still working. It's still working. Can't get it to stop working. It's frustrating. <laughs> she can hear me. <laughs> Technology can be a roller coaster sometimes. No kidding. It's a small part of the adventure. It is a small part of the adventure. Do you adventure. agree, Howie? Is this part of the adventure that you're enjoying? <laughs> And why are you sweating? <laughs> Talk me through your emotions. I'm curious. Stop! You don't understand. He has been on edge about this live going okay. incredibly but well. For it is going well from an entertainment. I think it's off. Okay. Thank you. It turned for, off. But it ended up delivering. Okay. Yeah, we're it good. Is. We're it good. Nuts bomb. It is brilliant. Well, that's, the, that's the guy. I built it. Yeah, so. <laughs> okay, so anyway. I understand why he came charging in. <laughs> 
So, uh, from an entertainment perspective, I think the show is really good. Yeah. From a proto perspective, oh, it was good. It this was one good. did good. This one was was. And this is AI. Fantastic. AI is is still. This is amazing. I can ask well, him any one, questions. Yes. This one also How does we, what that one. That does. one does exactly what that one. So does. I, honestly, it keeps going, and it's all pretty yeah, funny. Yeah. Okay. But uh, oh, that was fun. My God, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I, I love those guys. You know, always a pleasure. Is semen bad for plants? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Zach. Nice. Let me see if Howie responded. Are you ready to renounce your Canadian citizenship? No. He didn't uh, respond. No. I guess the answer is in the non-answer. Wow. Pretty savage. He's being rescinded. <laughs> that should be the Howie Mandel theme song. <laughs> Anytime we talk about him, this is the song. He gets. I agree. I, I love this for Howie's vibe. So let's see, uh, also uh, to all the members, the beautiful members who watched See You Next Tuesday yesterday, I had another unfortunate situation. Uh, we have joked about me sharing, as a perk for the $5 membership, my phone number. Mm -hmm. and, not now a, not I'm a joke. and now I'm happy to also share my um, emails. Right, yeah. yeah. Also not a joke. Not a joke. Here's what happened. And again, this is Dan's fault. 100% uh, Dan's fault. Because uh, Dan says... <laughs> this is... A, oh, fuck. This was probably the biggest one, because I just had no idea what was happening. I can't stand Dan. This was Dan's fault, though. 100%. Yeah, I have, I have some thoughts on that. Okay. Mm. I'll check my email right now. I'm not going to read it, but... So, uh, the context is even worse, because... XQC's X tweeted me, check your email. Mm -hmm. And although, and I'll say this here now, I'm not getting involved in his personal life. Good. You yeah. know, a girl, whatever you went through, you know, uh, I'm not the one to talk, to be your voice for that. You, you know what I mean? Like, uh, anyway, it's like, I, I just wanted to have a debate with him, not like, be the XQC guy. <laughs> right. You know? But anyway, so, a lot of people were like, I was like, I'm not gonna show you this email, but I'm curious what it is. And of course, kind of fucked up. I'm not gonna read it for you guys, but I am curious. I'm gonna check it right now. Oh boy. God, there's some weird emails in here. <laughs> <laughs> They can see the whole goddamn thing, and everyone's saying stop. I thought they were talking There's about some me weird eating. Emails and the whole time we're texting you, calling you. Yeah, my phone was muted. I got a whole bunch of missed calls. Yeah. My WhatsApp was blowing up. She sent it to. <laughs> yep, you I'm crushing it. We resorted XQC to emailing you because he's scared that. Yeah, you, I yeah, exactly. I'm and here you're on your phone, and we were all like, "Why is he not <laughs> seeing our shit? He's on his phone." <laughs> yep, that's why. Um, right. What was I doing on my phone? Because we were spamming you at this moment. When was you was like texting. I oh, X X I was in Twitter yeah. and XQC was messaging me. Yeah. He was... He was kind of... He, he was kind of panicked about this whole thing, to be honest. Uh, with the... With the, <laughs> with the, with the X. Yeah. So... Well, this doesn't show the whole thing. Yeah, does it? The, it, the next link is the because uh, that went on hey, for a while. Hey, Zach, <laughs> that was Not more to demonstrate me. what was going on in the chat uh, during all of this. Zach, don't you dare play that for me. <laughs> hey, come on, bro, stop. <laughs> it, it's Dan's fault. Play it when he talks. All right, so here it is. The chewing. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Wait, you guys are all saying stop. Am I chewing? Really chewing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was losing my mind during this. Mind you, the emails are still on screen. We ju it's just edited out. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this moment right. that he knew. I, it's like we watched well. you ground yourself. <laughs> all right. That's what... I blame Dan once again. <laughs> Once again, that's 100% Dan, Dan's fault. <laughs> Stand by that. In fact, he fucked up. 
This is not a good post. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, and I don't know why it was posted to the subreddit. Um, so, so yeah, I showed all the emails, just the beginning of it, unfortunately, including uh, his ex. But it didn't show anything. I don't. Uh, luckily, I didn't show anything well, that was compromising. It's funny because the only reason you didn't open it on stream, the actual email, is because you didn't find it. Yeah, if you I saw didn't it, find it. If you I was saw scanning. It, you well, so I that. saw like Eden's the best or whatever, and I thought it was like a fake name. Right. It, was, it just sounded a little like silly. But that was her. If I opened it, bro, thank God. Huh? You would have if you saw it. Saw it I would have. You're off, right. Off you're right. And I'm you would have been like, damn, like, this <laughs> yeah. is a crazy email. Like, I wish yeah. I could tell you guys. Guys, stop posting this stuff. It's not funny. Even trying to stream without Cruz help. This isn't funny, you guys. Why are you still posting this stuff? <laughs> that's my funny. that's my mom trying to open an email. Okay, it's just not the same thing. Right. And by the way, it's Dan's fault. He sets this streaming setup for me. He goes, "Okay, this is foolproof." He says, "Everything will show in this browser." Right. The, I got to defend but, Dan on this. This was a but, cool but, but, uh, Hold on, before you do, AB. <laughs> okay. So because sometimes it's there'll be two phone. browsers open if I click a link. And so if the email is open on my right screen, it'll still show that one. Yeah. Yeah. Even though the browser on my left screen, I'm not a streamer. I don't do Twitch stuff. Right, uh, right. So that's I'm the talent. I explained it to you though. <laughs> I explained it to you. Not that good enough. There are two browsers. <laughs> There's Chrome and Firefox. Yeah. And Firefox. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so I'll go. What happened? Everything that's Wait, what in Fire. Why'd you stop? Why'd you stop talking? I just following the rules. What happened? Dan just shut down. What's happening right now? Does somebody want to say something? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Oh. Okay, I can take over. Oh, I didn't a see bit. the button thing. Oh my god. Didn't. So, hold on, there, hold on. Okay, oh. all right. It's the bu button, love, please. I've fallen and I can't get Amy, up. you were saying? But Dan was explaining to you before that. A button. Shh. Not right now. Anyone else? <laughs> I think what he was trying to. <laughs> Okay, I, he was. I, listen, guys, it was Dan's fault. That's the only acceptable take on this tragedy. <laughs> yeah. And Dan, oh, apologize. Cool. I, I apologize on Dan's behalf. I apologize to you. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, this I th we can pa move past the shtick. Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> what were you saying? All I was saying is, yeah, it, uh, Firefox. There, Firefox is on your computer, and I explained to you that. Anything that happens in that, just assume it's public. That was that was the ground rule. So, that seems like a pretty simple rule to follow. I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you beyond that. It's like he's I mean, the show is you have to show stuff in a browser, so you need mm -hmm. a browser. And so, we've we've quarantined those off into two separate things to make it real, real nice, clear distinction there. And he signed you into different accounts. Right. So that the uh, problem is, I think you signed in to the main podcast, YouTube slash Gmail. Mm -hmm. That's that's a that's was a recipe for disaster, Dan. Right. And so yesterday that wasn't actually clear to me. I thought you had opened your personal. It wasn't until <clears throat> later that evening that I realized it was the podcast one, which made me less because then the podcast one is just like a public one. So, yeah, it was it was nothing. It, it, there really wasn't anything too personal. It would have been way more disastrous if it was like it's not your, your, fault. your business email or whatever, you know? I don't think there's even anything there, but it's not your fault. But anyway, it was funny. And uh, you know what? I mean, listen, guys, your fault. I'm doing my best out here. <laughs> Give me a hug, Robin Williams. Tell me it's not my it's fault. It's not your fault. Thank you. Your fault. All right. Make up your mind. Your fault. Um, here's the WhatsApp messages. <laughs> when I was, uh, yeah, I scroll. Stop! I went, Ethan, it's on screen. Everything you're doing, bro. Stop. Alarms. Ethan, your email's on screen. Ethan, Jesus. Ethan. Ethan. That's me, by the way. This is from my POV here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I swear you're trolling. I'm not, dude. <laughs> I thought you were. <laughs> at, at the same time, I'm calling you on your phone number and on WhatsApp. Yeah, same here. We were all 
blowing up your phone. Tab keeps saying it's time for the home. All right, well, it's time for you to be unemployed then. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You better put so, you me on, like... You sign a check in the old folks' home. You better put my ass on, like, steroids and all the shit yeah. Joe Biden's on. Sure. Keep my heart I'll pumping. that. Mm-hmm. Conservatorship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, like uh, shout out to the members who got that special tease. And, uh, and I hope that motivates you somehow to become a member. Because you just never know what's going to go down on See You Next Tuesday. Isn't that true? It's very true. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> Moving on. That's true. Thank you. There is uh, something really uh, fantastic I want to share from a fan. As you guys know, fan favorite Dark Nathaniel Klansman, who sometimes gets a little pensive on his porch about some of the <laughs> more tragic moments of his life. A fan, and this guy is amazing. Mums, Mums, young dead. <clears throat> Mums, young dead. Oh yeah, actually, so they posted it <laughs> on their YouTube channel, which we should definitely. Uh, well, let's watch it there here. then, so they I, can get the. I read the top that as comment here. Mumsy undead. I'm pretty sure. Mumsy undead. I tell you what, man. Okay. Sometimes I sit out here. So here's the YouTube link so we can juice them up. This guy is a mega talent. Undead Mummy is the <laughs> is the channel here. I, I've heard potentially greatest fan yeah. submission ever. I no think doubt. so. Yeah, because you haven't seen this yet, right? Only like ten seconds. You watched like it. the very beginning of it. All right. Well, let's take a let's take a watch. So this is by right now. Undead Mummy, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll put the link in the description. Juice it in the chat. Oh yeah, Roll that's it. a good idea too. Uh, but uh, here it is. Three minutes. Roll it. Take a look. I tell you what, man, sometimes I sit out here on the porch and I get to thinking, dark thoughts, you know, sometimes out here there's nothing to do but think. Wow. You ever sit on the porch and see the country light up by the lightning light? Sick. Make you think about all this. By the way. We were wondering what Nathaniel Klansman looks like. This is good. Yeah. Is it, I love the concept. It's good. Yeah, it's this like feels true. Bizarro Me, kind mm -hmm. of, which yeah. I like. I like that. It's here. Is it God who put us all here? No. Someone much darker than that. I grew up <laughs> with my good old friend, Jeremiah. <laughs> no way, that was we sick. close friends, real close. Jeremiah, one day he come home, he said, I kissed your sister. <laughs> I wasn't too kind about that, because I'll tell you what, man, I've been kissing my sister. <laughs> that's my sister, and anyone going to be reprocreating with her, Jeremiah, that's going to be me. So I took Jeremiah out back, told him we were going to sleep some sweet tea. And I whispered <laughs> in his ear, Jeremiah, cross the line this time, big brother. And I did something I regret. I'm not proud to say it, but I put my hands on his neck. Wow, so the light left his, his eyes. The last breath exited his mouth. Dude, insanely cool. I looked cool, on though. his lifeless body, I realized what I had done, but there was no going back at this point. But I thought if I gotta live a good life here for my sister, I gotta get rid of this body. This is so good. <laughs> I took my daddy's John Deere, and I start digging. And I start digging. Dude, that's amazing. This and literally by is most like people a calculation. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. This is ready for like a uh, uh, best short at the yeah. Academy Awards. Yeah. Yeah. Nathaniel Kleinsman. <laughs> um, so talented. I was six feet enough, but I kept digging. <laughs> <laughs> was that when I was doing it in front of the, yeah. the language coach? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we should get him to call back in and I'll do the whole monologue again. Just do it to him every time he calls in. I don't want to put him through that again. <laughs> and maybe it was, maybe it wasn't I was digging to hide the body. Maybe I was digging my own shame, trying to hide it. Don't have to have to face it again. <laughs> As I filled in that ditch with my good friend Jeremiah, I said, <laughs> Oh, 
how this go. It's gonna be the same around here. <laughs> Undead okay. mummy. Wow. <clears throat> Blown away. I'm unemployed. Also, I'm Amazing. unemployed. A plea for help if anybody out there is looking for someone with these kinds of talents. But the, I mean, and the the not just the quality, but the speed with which he did that. I mean, this didn't happen that long ago. Yeah. This is a lot of work. Yeah, it was it was probably what two months ago? Something like that. Maybe a little bit longer. That being said, I will be DMCing this uh, <laughs> unauthorized use of my voice. <laughs> Just kidding. We love you so much, Undead. I'm subscribing. I'm loving you. I'm gonna comment. I love Undead Mommy. Oh, you know what we need? We need a Bees from Space X Undead Mummy collab win. Mm. <clears throat> the two greats. The two greats. <laughs> yeah, huge thank you to you, man. That, that was beautiful. I absolutely love that. That could be potentially, I've been thinking if we could do H3 on Broadway, and I do wonder if uh, Nathaniel Klansman could be a compelling stage character. What do you think, Olivia? Oh my god. For like a one-man play? Uh, no, there'd be, there'd be, no, there'd no, no, be no. an ensemble. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a whole ensemble. A variety show of sorts. A musical, break into some song and dance mm -hmm. at certain points, you never know, you know, a little banjo. Wow, what a beautiful B-plot, Nathaniel beep -bop, Klansman. Beep -bop, mm -hmm. Happening somewhere in America. Little banjo music play as this raft flow down the river. <laughs> Seen me an eye. Seen me a child with a strange looking eye. Staring me down as I float past the Delta. I heard, I thought I heard the Delta Blues come from that old banjo, but it was something else. <laughs> something a little, a little different, a little stranger. Yeah. <sighs> something happened. I was coming down that stream and hit me a rock. You know, lots of rocks in the river, but this one was especially sharp and brutal. Mm. Took a nice chunk out my raft, had to ford the side of the river there, take breath, look over my boat. My good friend, Jezusiah, we said, dang, dang golly, I ain't know what we gonna do next here with this river broken. Then out from the bushes, we heard a little rustling behind us, said, Oh, maybe some good old boys out here to help us with our raft. Little turned around, seen me a big boy in a overalls and shotgun. Sawed off real vicious. Pointing right at me, he said, What you doing round here, boy? I said, Who you calling boy, man? I just looking for some help here with this here raft. You got any kind of gorilla tape or none of that? <laughs> he said, why don't you step on over here and squeal for me, piggy? <laughs> he said, squeal, piggy. I was confused first. I didn't know what was about to happen. They went up to Jezusiah. They hogtied that boy. You know, wrist to wrist, ankle to ankle. <laughs> Meanwhile, they took me out by the tree yonder. <sighs> Not easy to talk about what happened there behind the tree, but they put that shotgun right up to me, sawed off and everything, and they said, squeal, piggy. I said, I know what you mean, squeal. They says, you know what a pig sound? Make that sound then. I start to squeal. I'm just doing the plot of Deliverance. I don't know if you guys have seen that. No. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little fucked up from that point, but yeah. You, you know where it's probably going. Yeah, it's just the plot of Deliverance. Good movie. <laughs> Fits in the universe, the Dark Daniel universe. Yeah. Jezusiah. Yeah, I like Jezusiah a lot. <laughs> Jezusiah, Jeremiah, and Plebiscite. You should just switch the consonant every time. Plebliciah. Jeladiah. Je Jeladiah. Jemadiah. <laughs> Jezediah. Mm -hmm. There's my family. We the Dias. The Ezediahs. All right, moving on. We haven't talked about much anything here. 
let's talk about, we have a, more goofs than gas, but we should probably talk about something, right? XQC. There's a lot to talk about, unpack I'm, there. Yeah, there is. Uh, we're only 43 minutes in. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> All right, so let's let's debrief, and we can come back and look at this stuff. Uh, okay. So as you guys probably saw, the XQC conversation, I wasn't sure how many people were going to be interested in that. And like I said uh, on Monday, we had thought about canceling it. In fact, everybody wanted me to cancel it. Yeah, I was not really feeling it. Well, and neither were you. I mean, you were asking, like, what what you thought what we thought we should do. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. But glad it, it went pretty well, so I'm glad we did so it. My concern, and I think you guys shared it, was just that it's kind of like a... There's there's no way to win this because it's, he's so messy and yeah. so so lame and such yeah. a douche. Which it did play out pretty much the way I anticipated. But what I didn't anticipate is that he would get so thrown off that he would start writhing around on the ground, which was... Awesome. That's a that <laughs> meme will live just, forever. That was content right there. Well, and actually, the greatest meme that's come out of it, I don't, some of you might not have seen because it took place on Twitter yesterday, or mm -hmm. right yesterday yeah. mm -hmm. early in the morning, <clears throat> as he continued to harass me in my <laughs> direct messages after the debate. Um, <clears throat> but you know, yeah, I was prepping at night and I was looking at all my notes and thinking like, is this gonna work? And then when I heard back from Vince. Vintage Vince, I knew that I had something concrete, good, that hit him with. Right, because yeah. then it's no longer a hypothetical. There's and like so, an actual yeah. person there. But that's why I said, let's do it, you know, and <clears throat> well, we did do it. Here's some of the, in the aftermath of that, here's the DMs that took place. Now, a lot of people I was reading was like, why did XQC agree to do this? And I wanted to make it clear. Not only did he agree to do this, he's the one that... Uh, he proposed he, it. He proposed it. I wasn't even thinking about debating XQC. He said, debate me, old guy. I was like, sure. <laughs> You're dumbass enough to come <laughs> here and fit into the, you know, the usual suspects on that. <clears throat> so here is <clears throat> 11 p.m. <clears throat> Monday night. He's obviously seething and coping hard. I don't know, the reception on the, on the internet seemed to be universally... People always find a reason to hate me or say I'm annoying. Like, I saw this comment. They're like, if you didn't think XQC lost, you're an idiot. And if you didn't think Ethan was annoying, you're annoying too. Better annoying than a loser. But, you know, there's always the edgy kids. But for the most part, I think that it was a unanimous uh, goofing on XQC. Am I right? For sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So here's the unsolicited hate DM I got and my policy on this stuff and I've talked about this before If I get unsolicited hate mail or DMs that shit's public boy. I did not ask you to message me This is not part of a private conversation. This is like you coming uh, to my house and leaving like a fucking Mean letter on my doorstep <laughs> Didn't invite you My goddamn private DMs <laughs> Oh, yeah, poor so he said, you know, the whole point of the show is that you actually discuss points. Kicking me out and doing echo chamber tweets about the stuff you didn't prep for is soy behavior, man. It was when I read soy behavior, I was like, I'm post, I'm just posting this shit. I didn't even understand, like, he's so delusional. He thinks that he was the one discussing points and I was the one deflecting. It's a, like a total... Uh, perversion of reality. I mean <laughs> uh, but, uh, okay. I don't think I, I just said K. Again, you know, I saw this at 1.50 a.m. Hit him with the Ks, I mean. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, bro, listen, yeah. listen, let's, you know, whatever, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we did it, it's done. There's no more to talk, we already talked about it. Yeah. Why are you coming and talking to me about it? I said K. And then he says, go back to bed, old guy. I was like, all right. Said, bro, you haven't slept in two days. You probably would have performed better with a nap beforehand. <laughs> Just saying. It's fair. He said, Zzz. If it was about actual truth, I would have just spammed the group chat full of files and made it boring, gray hair Andy. And when I saw him say gray hair Andy, I was like, 
this man, he, I'm like, nobody's, this, this isn't Twitch chat. Old man? This is an almost 30 year old man. I'm like, th yeah, I'm 38, <laughs> I have gray man. hair, I have two and soon to be three kids, uh, you know what I mean? Like, the whole gray hair Andy thing doesn't, it's not registering. <laughs> Is that like a, it's meant to be like an actual insult to me, uh, love? Everything Andy, they just add Andy to everything, right? Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah it's probably supposed to be Is this how he insult. talks to his, like, grandparents? Probably, What's yeah. up, gray hair Andy? <laughs> well, you're not even that much older than him, as Dan pointed out. He's 30. Yeah, like, I don't, it's not a massive it's age like, gap. Not that significant, anyways. No, not, 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 not that significant, I agree, you know. Um, hey, grandma! Take these pan these pancakes suck. <laughs> white Pan hair, Gandhi. What right? White hair, Andy, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, this is like you know, can drop the act, man. It's just me and you. You don't have to lie to kick it, bro. Okay. And then, <laughs> and then he drops this graph. I guess because he says, if I cared about truth, I would have showed this compelling evidence. This is what he showed me here. <laughs> um. Here's the guy I posted. I just said, what? This was it. So he would have brought this crazy ass. Uh, Wait, is that not cropped? That's what he sent me. This is literally yeah. the photo he sent me. Checkmate. Not this. This is cropped. Yeah, but this is what he sent me. Right. He cropped it. You, you did he, not. Well, he he it. took it on his phone or something. I don't know what the fuck this is. This is like the most concerning thing. Because this, like, what is he thinking here? This is just <laughs> bogus, dude. It's like, a, what? A, 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 so concerning. So I was like, what, 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 what? I said, dude, you're coping, my friend. Again, it's 1.50 a.m. I'm in bed. I'm watching One Piece. My kids are <laughs> sleeping. My dogs are with my beautiful wife is sitting next to me in my, in my California king-sized bed. You know? In my air-conditioned room. <laughs> and uh, I'm, have, I'm chilling, you know what I mean? 50-plus unbiased sample size. Coping on this dick, he said. My Once guy. again, you, you don't have to. Probably should have kept that <laughs> to yourself, my guy. You don't have to lie to kick it, bro. It's just me and you right now. You had one graph that proved me right. All right, bro. Listen, we already had this conversation. Whoa, I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to rehash this shit. You can tell he's coping so hard. My guy. Uh, continues. He continues. Also, the YouTube shit is literal cut down for VOD frogs. This was like 10 minutes later. I for thought it was VOD done. Frogs. Can they, this is it, like, this is more Twitch no, chat like, bullshit. He's like so maladjusted. Like, Did this VOD mean? frogs? Does he like think that everybody talks like this? Like, what the fuck does that mean? Well, it's a pretty common Twitch thing, but yeah, it's weird to talk to a non-Twitch person like that. I don't but also, like, it doesn't even make sense because it's like, oh, it's just for people that want to watch the VOD. You're still stealing fucking content. He's going doesn't back. Make, I, it's sense. Just, yeah, He's I going mean, he back to the beginning point, of the conversation. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's dude, I am not the mindset of like DMing. Sure. Yeah. Somebody. I am not rehashing with this, this with you now, bro. Yeah. I don't care. He's like, yeah, I posted on YouTube so people can see it. So, yeah. 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 That's the issue. Mm -hmm. The fuck. Vod frogs. <laughs> okay. Bro, stop. You, if you want to have, I'm gonna have a new role with XQZ. If he wants to have a conversation with me, he needs to like chill out on the Twitch bonics. <laughs> I need, I need English APL. Yeah. So anyway, this was like 10 minutes later. Was it? When's the last message I got? It was 1:54 a.m. This one came at 2. Oh, 9 a.m. So oh, I didn't even realize this was in the middle of the night. That makes it so crazy. That's what I was saying. I'm chilling in bed with my <laughs> wife, my dog. I thought it was like in the early to mid evening. I no, no, no. 2 a.m. Like 2 a.m. texting. Wow. Yeah, fucking one of my favorite nights. <laughs> so I thought it was over. I said, oh, there's more. Okay. He says, no one cares about the cross analytics stuff because they have no impact. It's like, tell it to the judge, bro. Tell it to somebody who gives a fuck. It's niche as fuck, he says. I'd give 100% of the revenue if I had to. It's not meant to make money. LOL. Okay. Is he really trying to convince me? Like, he wants to convince me. I don't know. That I'm wrong? <clears throat> and I said, ironically, which I don't know if he picked up on. I said, right, because why would you care about YouTuber revenue of 100K when Kick just paid you 100 million? He said, exactly. I said, right. Right. 
He says, I don't care about it. It pays the editors and shit. Like, a measly $100,000. Yeah, I got it. And then he goes, I don't know why you're so caught up with money shit. You got shit money can't buy. Like, why? I was like, bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? You messaged me at 2 a.m. And you start talking about vod frogs and and <laughs> revenue share. <laughs> uh, what do you? I didn't. I didn't start this conversation. Graphs. So he goes, I, "Why are you so caught up with money?" I said, "It matters to people whose videos you use. I mean, hundred thousand dollars is not chump change to most people on this earth, right? Including me, frankly, that's a lot of money. I mean, Jesus Christ, you know." Uh, and I said, I meant to say after that, not everyone is a millionaire. And at the same time, he said, like I stated, we care a fuck ton. If we want, if they want something from us, we will give them a flat fee would be fine too. Again, completely missing the point of the whole conversation we had. <sighs> so exhausting. That's why we try to be careful to a certain degree. Sometimes mishaps happen, but we're on top of it. I said, it's not your decision to make, bro. Then I will continue to expand my library of React-friendly uh, channels and React potential and keep doing it while you search for victims that don't exist. Okay, Ethan. Again. Paid actor uh, vin vin Vintage Vincent. Is it Vintage Vince? Vince Vintage. Yeah, Vincent. Vince Vintage. Great guy. Great videos. Uh, he says, the world doesn't need your help. I'm like, dude, dude it's 2.30 a.m. I did not start this conversation. I said, you asked me to debate the issue, dude. I'm not looking to save the world. I just wanted to have a conversation about fair use with you, which we did. He's like rage DMing me at 2.30 a.m. saying, the world doesn't need you, bro. I'm like, okay. I didn't say it. Nobody said that, man. You know who needs me? My fucking wife and kids, dude. It's 2.30 a.m. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Stay safe. Wish you nothing but the best. I said, okay, same. <laughs> Thanks to you. And then... That is something we'll say about XQC, is as evidenced by his uh, on again, off again relationship with his son. Doesn't seem like a guy to hold a grudge past like no. 30 right. seconds. Dude. At, at, at some point in the debate, um, Love and I looked at each other because <laughs> you <laughs> said something like pretty, it was like a tiny bit maybe over the line. I think you were like, I'm way more entertaining than you. You're not even entertaining yes. it. And then you were like, I'm going to walk that back. I'm like, just I think you're silly. very talented. Yeah. And yeah. he like cracked a smirk okay. and he was like, oh, thank you, man. I do, by the way. He is talented. Yes, entertainer. I agree. Yeah. Is this Twitch thing where no one holds grudges and they basically like when everyone has a meltdown, everyone's mad at each other. One week later, everyone's fine. Just all good. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. I Pretty guess the, uh, the YouTube world is not as small as the Twitch world. Right. I guess everybody's got to be friends there. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. It's a foreign world to me. I'm just a frog, Andy, gray-haired guy. <laughs> <laughs> old, bald. I'm bald, old, froggy, frog boy. And bestie. <laughs> so, but anyway, when he found out that I was posting all these, I was posting them in real time. And I assumed he was seeing them. It was literally, I would get a message, I would post it. <laughs> and so I, I assumed, frankly, that he was seeing it. But he comes back to me, let's see, this, this ended at 3 a.m., or no, sorry, this ended at 2.30 a.m. Then I got another one from him at 3.40 a.m. I don't know why I was still up. I guess one piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> Wait, where's the beginning of this? The beginning? If you scroll down. Oh, okay, yeah. Where? B below. There's Huh? Below You're going up. You're going up. You got to go down. This is just to show the first tweet. Yeah, that's tweet. just showing the first tweet. Oh, oh, okay. So he said something like, yo, dude, what the fuck? He, there, was, there was personal information, so I decided I did post it, frankly, and I, I regretted it. I was like, eh, it's nobody's business. It was stuff about his ex, and I, I didn't think it was. I, didn't, I, I regretted doing that, and, and uh, I apologize. Because up to that point, it was yeah. him like arguing and attacking you. Yeah. And then suddenly there's a third party involved. And yeah. I got and you. I said, you know what? I, I erased it. And I, I even apologized. I said, I'm sorry. I, I posted those. So I, excluding those, he's like, yo, what the fuck? Why are you posting the DMs? And then he's really angry now. He says, I know it kills you inside. You lost so much time and money in that lawsuit. I said, buddy, which one? You got to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> 
says, I don't know, whichever one really, you seem so bitter after it. I said, I'm fine. Short answers. Not looking to engage much with this. This is when the real fucking juice comes. Hmm. He says, anyway, when the bills kick in and you're struggling, remind yourself you leak DMs out of insecurity. And then he hits me with this. Hmm. And don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. Kissy lips. And I was just like, bro, you are fucking out of your mind. <laughs> I love that you just hit him with the smiley. I was like, this is so <laughs> crazy. I was, I, I was looking at this last night because I was just like, I want to inspect this. First of all, the watch, I'm pretty sure, is at like 8 p.m. or something. So it, I don't think he took it then. And also, he's sitting on the floor with his little feetsies out. <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right. He's sitting on the carpet. And his empty, loveless, literally nobody's there except your maid, who you pretend doesn't exist because you're, you have no social skills. You call people frogs. You could practice your social skills with your maid. That's a good place to start. <laughs> you can't even do that. I'm talking, of course, about this. This clip was going viral before our conversation of him. This is embarrassing, man. I mean, really, it is. Uh, he's, he's sitting here uh, streaming, and there's actually it takes two cleaning women to clean his disaster <laughs> of a fucking room. Just living in filth. And he's so embarrassed. Watch this. He, he starts typing secret messages to chat <laughs> because he's so embarrassed normally I'm not like embarrassed chat so like I'm more social and chill but this time there a lot of fucking trash <laughs> holy fuck I'm like actually shy sorry <laughs> Bruh, they've been cleaning for years. I don't even know what to say. She's looking too. Look at her looking at his dumb ass. And oh, she's man. like, bro, you're a weird dude. Fucking Look at this weirdo, bro. Look at that side eye. What the fuck? While carrying a. She's like, I can read, you know. I speak English and I can read. <laughs> Moron. I'm sentient, you know. Drop yeah. the knife now. <laughs> oh, cool. Let's get back to this police shooting video. Whatever the <laughs> fuck he's watching. You're a weirdo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect. <laughs> so clearly very dysfunctional. I mean, my God. Just get up, man. Say, you know, I'm so sorry for the mess, you know. Apparently, though, if they filled up like two whole trash bags of shit. Anyway, so here is the, uh, I was actually curious how much this watch cost. Because he says it's worth, the, worth more than my whole house. And I think it was like between two fifty and 400000 It was like 400000 yeah. yeah. Which, don't get me wrong. It's an expensive watch. Obviously, yeah. But uh, I don't think he knows anything about me. I don't think you can even own a house in L.A. for $400,000, frankly. <laughs> no. Not that it yeah, really that matters. Not that it, it doesn't no, matter. No, but I mean, with yeah. the housing market, how it is, four hundred k. I don't think that gets you anything. Nothing. He's got a down payment, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the guest bathroom on his wrist. That's right. That's, right. That's, the, that's the pool house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I didn't even respond because I was like, whatever, bro. I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're worth more. Your watch is worth more than me. Uh, there's and since this is this tweet has gone pretty, pretty what? viral. I've seen tons of people memeing it. I've got a whole album of memes. Let me see how many likes it's gotten. Watch it. People were really loving it, though. Oh, uh, perfect, too. Uh, 92,000 likes, 6,000 retweets. I think this meme's gonna live for a long time. <laughs> and then, uh, Vince Vintage actually reached out to XQC after the podcast. He said, yo, tell him to reach out, I'll give him 10x. Here's the message he sent him. What's up, XUC? This is uh, Vince Vintage from yesterday. Wanted to follow up on your offer to compensate the creators. Crickets. He's quick to respond to me, boy. I bet if I messaged him right now, I was like, yo, I heard from your ex. Instant response. In fact, I'll test it right now. Should I? Mm. But Vince Vintage, nothing. Should I do that? I kind of want to do that experiment. Is that fucked up or is that funny? No, 
Not like, funny. what would you follow it up with? No, know? I just say it. Never mind. Frank, you. Mistake. <laughs> like, no. What if I just said hi? Uh, who cares? He, <laughs> he would respond to me. We all know he would. Hi. But this was sent like, you know, two days ago now. <laughs> uh, he quote tweeted. I'm hey like, girl, what's the tea? Yeah. He said, um, AXUC put out this cryptic like uh, crybaby tweet. Now imagine that every day for years you made to believe that everything you lived was a lie and that it's your fault somehow someone is living in a fantasy. Uh, uh, okay, dude. Okay, dude, yeah, I mean, shit. So he quote tweeted him and said, Now imagine that someone said to hit them up to get paid on the content they stole. Exactly. Retweet, likes, we're all here for you. Vincey boy, Vincey baby. I'm searching for victims that don't exist, though. You know. So here's an album of all the memes, and this stuff is fantastic. You guys will love these. Uh, our subreddit first started out. Don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. This looks like some <laughs> so spaghetti good. and peas and corn. Ew. Nice. Spaghetti, peas, and corn. I got your whole... And, of course, the watch was just a hideous, like, Rube Goldman freak watch. <laughs> I mean, you're a watch connoisseur, Zach. I asked you about it. Um, yeah, I guess just the, it's a very expensive watch, and all those diamonds are factory, so I'll give it that. But I wouldn't buy that. I think it's hideous. You I, do? I don't think the resale. I don't. I really don't think it's going to hold its value in the the long term. There it is. So nice investment, dummy. Do you think he can even tell the time on it? No, you. He absolutely cannot. Wait, hold on. Let me pull up the the watch again. So <laughs> that's a that's that an uh, AP skeleton. <laughs> Um, Audemars Piguet skeleton with a frosted, uh, I believe white gold band and then rainbow diamonds around the bezel. I have a hard time reading that. So, so how, oh yeah, I mean, are it, these, yeah, cool watch, bro. Hey, what time is it, by the way? How about that? I, it's just, what time is it, XQC? It just seems like, just like kind of like a fuck you watch to buy. Like there's no sentimental anything. That's how it. he used it. Yeah. Uh, XUC response to Ethan be like, this was my favorite, Zach. Oh, this was so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> that was literally so, <laughs> so funny. Oh, uh, man. Oh, is this it? We got the, the listing. Here it is. I believe this is it. It was linked in an article. Okay. Price on request. Like AP, they make a great watch, but this is just, ugh. What time is it? Oh my god, is it like Pride Edition? Right. Kind of is, isn't it? That is kind of dope how it like, these are natural colored gems, I'm assuming. Are they like yes. sapphire? That's yes. very cool how they do They're that. Beautiful. No, it, it's all factory, which I love about it, because a lot of places do it aftermarket. Hell no. Yeah. Um, Not AP. No, but it, <laughs> and without all the shit on it, it would be a really nice watch. Is that the exact one X has? Yes. Looks He's like an ally. it. He's Okay. I don't think he, I think he is probably, I don't think he... I think he's like, let me get the most fucking expensive watch I can buy. And <laughs> it just so happened to be Rainbow. Right. Right. Maybe. <laughs> okay, Ethan, the Arthur angry meme with the watch. Fantastic. We love that. And don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. This man has <laughs> a house on his wrist, which is actually more accurate, frankly. Right. Than, um, Good. than what he said. Don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. <laughs> 2.30. At least this one tells the time. Don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist of fried egg. All right. They don't know my wrist costs more <laughs> than their houses. Yeah, that's, funny. that's very, very, very true, probably, too. Uh, his daily life. Definitely. This is him at any party. Yeah. Too. This was from Linus Tech Tips, getting it on the fun. Damn. Shout out. Uh, don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> That is a flex. How much do you think that video card costs? Couple, couple K. That's what I'm saying. Now that uh -huh. you want to impress me, send Sheesh. me that. Uh, <laughs> and don't forget, I got the whole ocean on my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> that's, bring that's out true. the whole ocean. Tell him to bring out the whole ocean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. Ben Beal. I've never seen this. This is impressive for Damn. me. That's fire. That's very impressive. Flames. This is this is mm. 
don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. That's heat. I feel like Shrek, and you're in my swamp. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Tamaguchi. Don't forget, I got your whole. Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi, Tamaguchi. That's the luxury version. The Gooch. <laughs> don't forget, I got your whole house on my wrist. Uh, Cameron this, made. He literally has. Uh, oh, yeah. Awesome. A whole house <laughs> on his wrist. Unfortunately, he's unable to move because it's a house. It's very. Oh God, heavy. Is that a cam original? <laughs> yeah, the rest are. I yeah, love these that. are these are cam joints. From this point on. Yo. Don't forget, I got Yo. your whole house on my wrist. That's okay, Flex. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, That's you think that. he's got God cards, dude? Oh, no doubt. Yeah. Those can't be his real fingers, right? Dude, look at his neck. No wonder he was doing the fucking worm on the ground. He's looking very warm. -like. <laughs> Dude, he's very worm-like. Yeah. Wow. Uh, here he says, I have a whole house on my wrist. It's actually- In my wrist. In my wrist. It turns out his, his wrist has literally oh. been replaced with a house. That's <laughs> your, that is your house. Oh, this is literally my house. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Very accurate statement in that case. <laughs> This is uh sorry, I went a little off the rails this morning. <laughs> Zach, you'd probably prefer this one, right? Yeah, that's hype as fuck. Dude. Yeah. This that's one's nice. actually Swiss made, apparently. Yeah. A Swiss made McDonald's watch. That Ronald McDonald fucks, dude. You hard. think so? Oh, hard. Fucks dude. kids. I wouldn't say that. Does he? But you know, shout out. <laughs> oh, like, I, I you know, if, <laughs> if the apologies, McDonald's, I retract that immediately. If the hamburglar was on there, it might be a little better. I right. like the I like the hamburger. You're like, a hamburger guy. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Even mortgage Aaron loans in on this. Whoever you guys are, <laughs> don't up. forget I got your whole house on my <laughs> wrist. Pre-approved, <laughs> baby. Is this a real company? Apparently, yeah, yes. It seems like it. They have 16 followers. I don't know how real that is. Which one? How did you even find this? Which one of you owns this company? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Mor Aaron Mortgage. Who got steaks? <laughs> That's a whole hot cuckoo's nest. That's a cam original for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, everything since the Wizard of Oz one. Pepe the pig, love that. Pepe the pig. <laughs> Peppa. It's not that. It's pe Peppa. Peppa, not Pepe. Pepe. Okay, all right. Pepe. You think that Pepe the pig? Pepe. Pepe. Peppa. It's my boy Pepe. Pepe. Here he has uh, nothing. He's got his whole wrist on his wrist. Well, Don't forget, reading. I got my wrist <laughs> on my wrist. Really good job cleaning that up, Cam. Wow. That's literally my wrist. Oh, it's your oh, wrist. Oh, yeah. it's clever, 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 clever boy, clever, clever. Don't forget, I got your whole house on my piggly wigglies. Aww. That is not my foot. You sure? Yep. And here is my beautiful home, and not that I want to flex it, but it is a public matter since I, hmm. I basically talked about it when I made that Mudahar video so long ago. So people know where I live and my house, and that's fine. But here he is. Don't forget, I got my wrist on your whole house. Wow. Stomping on you, dude. Mm. Freak like this. So there it is. There it is. Yeah. People are having fun with it. What is this one? A work of art. Another one. Here is XQC. Lil Pump is currently residing on XQC's wrist. Ooh, I love that. Okay. This is, I guess, miniature us, I think. That's just mean. I think that's really nice. Beautiful. I don't know what what does that have to do with little pup? No idea. Alrighty. Shout out to the fam. Shout out to um there's this subreddit XQC Cow. I don't know if it's like a snark subreddit or a fan that subreddit. That was his username before. Oh, it's O O W Overwatch. XQC O W <laughs> Overwatch. Oh, but it's it sounds like they're calling him a cow, like yeah. a lol cow. Yeah. But it's not. So is that a snark? Because I went there uh, the past few days and it's all snark. Rod no, that's Cop his sub. So it's a fan sub. Uh, I think it seems his. like most subreddits you can never really tell. Right? <laughs> Do they yeah. hate you? Do right. they love you? Sure. But there were some good memes over there. Shout out to the XQC cow folks over there. Love that. <sighs> But, uh, okay, this is where you know the world is really fucked, you guys. And this is a trigger warning. Uh-oh. Both Keemstar and Tristan Tate <laughs> have reportedly handed me the dub. Keemstar says, Ethan won. Thank you, Keemstar. <laughs> uh, Bestie material. 
Uh, and and H three owned XQC says Tristan Tate, which I think you have bigger problems to deal with. Bro. Yeah, why are you watching, uh, why are you watching <laughs> Twitch? Don't watch that. Don't watch my show, please. Yeah. You have bigger shit to deal with. You'd be prepping, prepping for court. Yeah. Uh, there was a really funny comment. I think somebody pointed out it's just because I'm not fat anymore. Mm. Here, look at this. I'm not even kidding when I say I think most of Ethan's haters literally just hate him because he was fat. Now he's losing weight, and they're able to at least concede that he's good at some things. <laughs> That's crazy. That's not a bad theory, and no. it's uh, genuinely, there's something there. You know? Truly. So shout out to my besties. <laughs> Keemstar and Tristan Tate. Who, despite their hatred of me, still gave me the dub. Vincent, uh, Vince Vintage, of course, changed his, um... His bio to paid actor. I'm a paid actor. Which he was, a, he was accused of being by XQC. Which he was. Yeah, still, we paid him a lot of money. Still one of the more baffling uh, responses to a point I brought up. I, was, when I went back and was watching bits of the debate. I was really flabbergasted when he said that. I was but, watching his kick chat at the time. And uh, as soon as you started reading it, their whole chat started spamming paid actor. So I think you just saw that and... For sure. Never did it. Every time. Um, he was on Kick when we were doing that? Yeah. Oh, he wasn't on Twitch? No. No. So how many people watch him on Kick? 50. 50,000? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. A lot of people went over there for him. Who, who are his fans? Like, genuinely, if he did a meetup, who would be there? Probably I, 16 to 23 men. 16 to 23 probably. year old men. Yeah. Gamers. Overwatch players. Gamers Unite. Yeah. Juicers. Is he a good gamer? Is he good at games? Well, he was pro in Overwatch with the least skill uh, character. People don't watch him because he's good at video no, games. No, not anymore. Yeah. Definitely not. <sighs> Vince Vintage. Shout out to my boy, paid actor. What did he main in Overwatch? Winston. <laughs> he was a Winston man? Yeah. Dork. Uh, he was the best Winston in the world. But sure. I'm, I'm, I'm everyone kidding. Everyone roasts him. I'm sure, he, the, I'm sure he was good. That's how he blew up, wasn't it, from yeah. playing that? Yeah. Yeah. Winston, man. <laughs> well, he, he, the fact that he was reading chat during the conversation is a fat L, first of all. Right. And it's like, dude, be consistent. Do you want me to be serious or silly? Or do you want to... I bring up a really valid point that I would love your answer to, and then you say paid actor. Okay. Of course, people love that uh, Ela came in to s curb stomp. Uh... <laughs> oh, this isn't this, but this is funny. <laughs> I can't believe he did that. At a certain point... <laughs> at a certain point when you're... Is that gonna get clean? Oh no, that one's safe. That I, I checked it as yeah. well. Thank you, Zach. You're the man. Yeah, I mean, if your debate opponent starts doing the worm, then I think they've conceded. <laughs> Watch out for that. That'll be in my debating handbook one day. Right. Watch for your opponent to go on the ground and start writhing. <laughs> that will mean you won. <laughs> but where's that Ela Alpha edit? It might be that this one has the wrong link in it. Uh-oh. XQC update number four. Here is the, this is the one we just watched. Yeah. H3 versus XQC debate in a nutshell. This guy over here is cooked. Oh my god. <laughs> How cooked can you be, dude? <laughs> this guy is flame broiled. He is done, cooked, fanito, cabbage. Good application. I forgot about that stuff. <laughs> Those being out there. Mm -hmm. Here's the Ela uh, Alpha moment. Thank you guys. Oh, Ethan. You want to talk about amount of transformation, then if we want to move on to that topic, let's just get some of your, uh, your I think your wife's old merch, right? Which is a oh, direct yes. I one to one. I, I saw that. Uh, I've seen it. Not and sure some of the arguments. Have. So you can still sometimes when somebody gets confused no. at the company, you want to? when, when, you when can, one of the want. sweatshop guys gets, get, gets it wrong, they gets it wrong. Oh no, we are, we are thieving. I actually wasn't planning I'm, to come in, but yes. you brought up Teddy Fresh. Listen, then talk to me because uh, I'm um, the person yes. running Teddy Fresh, yes. not him. Yes. Yes. If you oh, want to talk understand. about it, talk to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was pretty baller. I love that she did that because frankly 
And he got kind of pissy too. He's like, "Oh, bring everyone in." It's like, "Well, we just talking about her company. She got every right to come defend herself." Yeah. Also, at the end, a little misogynistic. I think Ela mentioned that, but when I went back and watched, I felt that too. Yes, he was very. Don't interrupt me. Her. Yeah. I was like, dude, maybe you wouldn't be single. He was like, I'm talking to him. Maybe you had a low respect for the ladies. You wouldn't be getting divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Frankly, and listen, he made he went after my marriage, and he, the man is going through a divorce. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, what the fuck? No, you actually in this case, <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> no, you, the best. No, you. Uh, there's so many good ones. XQC worm in the wild. <laughs> Here it is. He's a worm in the wild. Streamer XUC <laughs> and live action adaptation of Grounded. That looks true. Here it is one more time. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I believe him. He's killing Nature's it, man. Majesty. He's doing great. You did great, sweetie. Mm-hmm. Ethan's list is getting too long. I guess it is. Uh, again, I don't. I don't like the whole tap dancing uh, thing. Cause listen, we're gonna we're gonna have a debate someday where I'm not gonna go like. Not gonna go like this, you know. I just mm -hmm. gotta prepare myself. Sure. Was that the worm you were so sorry? Is that the worm you were expecting him to do, by the way? Because I was expecting him to do like the dance move. Yeah. I was not expecting me too. that. Yeah. That was very surprising. I have a friend who used to do that, so I, it kind of was what I was really? expecting. Oh the my worm, God, my yeah. eyes had never seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that. But it, it's not the most flattering image <laughs> to a fur person. <laughs> it was an interesting go to. Because yeah. yesterday on See You Next Tuesday, everyone was trying to get me the worm, do the worm. I was like, hell no, I'm not putting that out there. <laughs> fuck you, you're not recording that. Oh, what the fuck? Roma Army. Two, 300 Canadian with no message? <laughs> but what do I owe this uh, tremendous Thank you, generosity. Roma Army. Thank you. Very Thank generous, you. very kind. Imager album of all the... the heck of it. Wait, I already, I already did this one, right, Zach? Oh, no, these are different ones. It's a different one. Oh, my God. Yeah. XQC is just getting cooked, man. <laughs> oh, when, when Ela came in? Yeah. <laughs> Love that. We'll be right back. This really sh should go in rotation. That's cool. Uh, it's already in there. It's in. This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yep. Here's my face hiding. I didn't even see that. Mm -hmm. I'm, in, I'm in your closet, Felix. Yeah, I updated the button screen yesterday, so there's a lot of new There's a bunch of good new, yeah. good new ones in there. So good. should say something crazy so we can show them off today. I know we haven't a button today, man. Oh. When you're losing a debate to Ethan, and it says all relatable, re all reliable, excuse me, mm. and it's that one Teddy Fresh shirt that looked like another. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Got him. I hope people keep bringing that up, you know? It gives me, frankly, an opportunity to talk about Teddy Fresh to a big audience. Mm -hmm. Right? Very good <laughs> promotion, I think. True. This is always a killer from The Simpsons. Uh, I sleep in a race car. Do you? <laughs> says Millhouse's dad after getting divorced. Homer says, I sleep in a big bed with my wife. <laughs> Still. So good. Arguably my favorite Simpsons joke of all time. So fucking funny. This was during the golden age, right? Yeah. Like yeah. The first that was like, like 10 years. Peak, peak Simpsons. You guys should go back and watch the first 10 seasons. They are some of the best TV it ever. It really is. Yeah. So fucking good. Uh, here I am tending to my garden. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's a little wormy. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Hmm. Thank you, wormy. Look at them. Early bird. Is they help keep them? the soil healthy. Ela walks on screen. I run Teddy Fresh. Talk to me. My four-year-old would love that giraffe. <laughs> I'm having a third kid with him. <laughs> oh God, what is this? POV, you tried to explain the recent pod to a non-viewer. Bro, I'm telling you, XQC had zero argument. He just came on the A Street podcast, <laughs> used measurements with his hands, spoke gibberish, called someone he he content stole from a paid actor, and then, oh my God, Ela came out with big boss girl energy. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm the face of Teddy Fresh, not Ethan. Talk to me. And I shit you not, he became a worm, bro. <laughs> it was not Ethan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> awesome. <laughs> this is such a phenomenal uh, photo. So good. <laughs> The body language is so <laughs> weird. That's fucking funny. Oh, God. There it is. Oh, and then here's kind of like... 
he's on his like L tour. So immediately after this, he went to Vegas, which is of course the perfect place to go to when you're down and out and have a gambling addiction. Yeah. Blow off some steam. Blow off some steam. Here's the post where he announces it. Let's see. XQ Lol Cow. I think that should be his new name. Mm-hmm. Nobody suggested that yet. No, it's an original one. That's, that's not a, he's an original. He says, "Moving to Vegas when I wake up." I was confused by this. He wasn't talking about like moving there, was he? I think he is. Because he came back five hours later. He says, "I'm not cut out for this," and then came back. Oh no, this is just a joke. What the fuck is going on with this guy? He says, "This isn't the ending I hoped for when I got to Texas." Well, nobody saw the worm coming. Should be a lot of fun tonight. It sucks to leave so much behind, but I have mentally moved on from all this. Actually, better days ahead. It sounds like he's moving to Vegas. Yeah. So yes. here, so here he is, like uh, two hours later, <laughs> <laughs> sitting with Aiden Ross and losing probably tens of thousands of dollars at the uh, blackjack table. Well, when he uh, when you did the the call with him, you said he hadn't slept in two days. Yeah. So he's probably hasn't slept since, dude. We're I mean, on fuck. day three here. His his body is literally shutting down. Yeah. So I mean, like, is it possible to be that wired without drugs? And I'm not accusing him of anything. I'm literally just wondering because I personally have never known somebody to not sleep for three days with that were like, I guess in some really rare rare sleeping disorders. But to not sleep for three days is really, really, really extreme. <laughs> I mean, he probably slept, right? You think he does, like, Adderall or something? Oh, no, I was just saying he probably slept between. What, wow. it's like a two-hour flight. He, I was watching. He literally went from the debate really? to the blackjack table with oh. Aiden Ross. In that case. <laughs> Made it. Here he is. God, they must be spending a lot if they're letting him film at the table, because I know they have strict rules yeah. about not Yeah, they're filming. pretty serious about that. Hmm. Really strict rules. So they must know his, he's such a mark, dude. Probably a private table. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. At the high rollers. Yeah. They see his watch and they're like, the mark has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Mr. Felix, wherever you like. Here he is bawling. Gonna just, gonna be just winging it and living life for two to three days. Good, man. Have fun. Serving C word. Is this watch more than worth more than my whole house? Could you zoom in a little more, maybe? I can't. It's probably your, hold on. your this, car, if I had to guess. Wait, wait, zoom back in real quick. Hold on. Look at my... Let me see if I can zoom more here. Is that helpful? Uh, what is that? It, it, that's not factory. That's some dog shit. Loser, idiot. Yeah. I hate when people do that, man. Dude, he's doing the Zach Lewis pose, though. He's learning from the best <laughs> here, man. Good job, Felix. He's, Get a better watch. He's flexing. Get a better watch, idiot. Here he is. Uh, who the fuck am I kidding? I'm going home. This life isn't for me. <laughs> Five hours later, probably after losing like $200,000. Mega shout out to Aiden for setting me up, though. From one mark to another. Dude, this is so illegal. <laughs> Taking pictures, you can almost see the cards. W. Just kidding, again, up 180. Okay. Sure. $180? Uh, yeah. Awesome, probably. W! Um... But here they are talking about me, actually, uh... So, what, what's your name? Circle jerking about, uh... What a douche I am. Take it out. Ray, okay. I'm nice to meet you. Jordan. That's Ray, that's Jordan. You guys met at my old house. Yeah, I don't know this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, imagine the amount of money you have to lose for them to put you up like this. <laughs> Basically, it's whole crew. You guys are gonna go down there. I'm gonna come with you. We're all going to you're going to sit These guys live like rock stars because of one reason. A shady fucking crypto casino. This is the only reason that these guys live so fat and so large. They have done nothing like in terms of like business sense, in terms of like personal accomplishes, in terms of like putting in hard work to develop something where it pays off. Don't get me wrong. They'd be doing well. But this level of high living is literally because steak, a shady fucking 
Crypto Casino is paying them ungodly amounts of money. Yeah, their existence is an advertisement for them. And and they're they're, they're they you know they trounce around like uh, they're big shit. But you guys are just sellouts. That's it, man. Subsidized, straight up sellout behavior by both of you fucking losers. Hear a song? Yeah, I'm gonna you gonna give Wait, me bread again? a song, and we're gonna give you bread. Guess what, bro? If I in an alternate universe where I sold out to stake, I could. Yeah. I could get paid fat too. I was gonna say every Anyone big streamer can. on Twitch could be them, dude. FoosyTube, no offense, just got a deal with Kick. Right. Literally, right as this shit started coming out, Kick was like, "Let's pay him." <laughs> now is the time to strike. <laughs> yeah. What's no. up? A song. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 a song. I thought he was gonna sing us a song. Oh no, but fuck. He didn't even say his song. That's the funny part. He's like so obsessed. Look at this moron. He read. No. Song? Fuck a song. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 a song. I thought he was gonna sing us a song. Oh no, but fuck a song. And H three. Flex on him. Flex, flex in the camera. Stop, stop, no, bro. Stop, stop, stop. No, bro. That's why motherfuckers. What? Bro, it... Uh, I think it was charging. Nah, I think it was fucking broke. I mean, did. Brother, Aiden. Where's it at? Brother, he, he leaked the DMs. I, I, I didn't it, like that. Is it, it's private DMs, like... Yeah, that was, but that was so cool that you, yeah, you flexed on him in the bro. DMs. That was cool. Oh my god. Let me back that up for you. You guys Whoa. know this is being filmed, right? These guys are so embarrassed. I love Holy this. He leaked my DMs. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Can don't I care about your DMs. I don't owe you anything. A ass Aiden Ross. Is like every kid that I knew that went to like Hebrew school, <laughs> and I'm not trying to be anti-Semitic. I'm just, I'm just saying how it is. Did you go to the Hebrew school with a bunch of rich kids? Well, no, 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 not not that. It's just their mentality, the way they talk, the way they act. That was so sick, dude. How you flexed on him? Like it's just it's it's certain like. Yeah. I've said this about Aiden so many times, but he continues to give off this energy. <laughs> that was so cool, Gaston. That was so cool, XQC, how you did that in the DMs. <laughs> brother. Hey, hey, Aiden, you sniff any chairs lately, brother? Hell no! Aiden, you sniff XQC's chair when he got up to go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little freak. Charging. No, I'm, I'm joking, bro. bro. <laughs> brother, Aiden. Where's it at? Brother, he, he leaked the DMs. I, I, I didn't it, like that. It's, it's private DMs, like... This whole mentality is so silly to me. We're not, it wasn't a private conversation. You literally just messaged me rude shit. He's talking about my big tits! Yeah, that was, but that was so cool that you, that so you cool. flexed on him in the Bro, DMs. That was cool. That was so cool, Gaston. It's like every kid I've played basketball with, I'm like some, <laughs> I just, that's the, how I'm mentally depicting it. Well, and, and what's crazy is that XQC accepts the compliment. He's like, yeah, I know, it was cool, yeah, wasn't thanks, it? Thanks. He's getting clowned on by, like, the whole internet. It's fucking awesome, that wasn't dude. Okay, but I gained no, respect for you. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay, sure, I'll take the credit. He's taking the credit for that. Fire. But the, the joke is, is that I know how much his house is worth. It's, it's a big house. The yeah. watch is not worth his house. That was the whole fucking point. But still... This guy is oh, the saddest fucking loser ever. That was the whole point. There is zero percent chance he knew that. that he was he was obviously super angry. He was rage posting. They came one after the other after the other. The, mm -hmm. the, the dots were moving. Now all of a sudden it was a joke. I'm pissed off. So I'm gonna send you a photo of a watch I know isn't worth your house. <laughs> To own you and send you kissy but lips. But say it is. He, dude, you're so. Tra Why would you even try to make that argument? Like, what are you saying? Like, what's the joke? What am I missing? <laughs> Let's say it's true. So, so what's the joke? <laughs> Where's the own? The joke is that it doesn't make sense. Just like his whole uh, <laughs> debate, bro. You just don't understand XQC humor, man. Yeah. Dude, you're not a frog. Yeah, you're a not big. a YouTube yeah, frog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> YouTube you're not a bod frog, man. You don't get it. You're like you're an old Andy. Whatever. You're an you're a gray hair Andy frog. You're you're an old Andrew or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> an old Andrew. By the way, how old is Aiden Ross? Uh, he's like 23. Yeah, same age as me. I'm 21. Is it, fuck you. He's like 22. One day older than me. So 30 year old oh, okay. XQC 22. is hanging out with like 20 year old Aiden Ross to get his, to get him to be like, you're so cool, dude. That was so cool. Okay. okay, but I gained no, respect for you. Oh, hold on. Yeah, okay, sure, I'll take the credit. But the, the joke is, is that 
I know how much his house is worth. Then it's it's a big house. The yeah. watch is not worth his house. That was the whole fucking point. But still, explain that joke, please. I'm wait, wait, you. What is it? I need to hear Aiden's response to that. Hold on. Right, right. Because I know Aiden's not following. There's no shot to even listen. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is just... it's private DMs? No like, yeah, that was, but that was so cool that you yeah, you flexed on him in the Bro, DMs. That was cool as fuck. That like, wasn't the okay. But I gained no, respect oh, for you. Oh, hold on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll take the credit. But the the joke is, is that. I know how much his house is worth then. It's, it's a big house. The yeah. watch is not worth his house. That was the whole fucking point. But still, bro. That it, was... it was like a fake. He's, he's not still, brother. still, bro. He goes, no, no, no. That's the, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> he's a... <laughs> oh, fuck. These two goons are the best, aren't they? <laughs> the whole fucking point. But still, bro. That it, was... it was like a... I love they've got a posse, too, like, so they feel important. Like, Aiden, you don't need security. I just don't care. You don't need a posse, brother. Nobody's pulling up on Aiden. Someone's yeah. like, can I get a picture? Ah! Stop him! <laughs> yes? Have you seen Guards! Him? <laughs> Have you seen him box? I think you may need... Yeah, I've it seen doesn't it. hurt. Yeah, mm. that's true. It doesn't hurt. I've seen it. It's true. Fake flex, like... Nah, bro, that was, but nobody that saw was through cool it. flex, bro. I'm not gonna lie, you uh, shit on him, bro. Whatever. Stop me. So, so <laughs> he doesn't get it, because he goes, No, you flexed on him. And then, XQC saying, yeah. No, I wasn't flex. I wasn't <laughs> trying to flex. XQC is trying to backpedal, and he's just, nah, that was nah, cool, nah, bro. Nah, that was sick. That was sick, bro. He, first he goes, okay, I'll take the credit for that epic flex. But then he says, I wasn't trying to flex, that was the joke. And then Aiden says, no, but that flex but was still, sick. But still, but still, <laughs> dude. Make it make sense to me, please. He's so modest, I'll man. take my dub, I'll take my XQC dub. He's ta me. I'll take the dub. Yeah, you got What's it. What's the dub? I'm confused. He's got the dub, dude. No use in trying now. Listen, if I was flexing or not, it's a dub. <laughs> Hitler was right. So modest. He uh, shit it on him, bro. Sure. Man, do, do you guys have like the whole floor some shit? Like, what is that? I feel like we're no wonder this guy's such a fucking like moron. I mean, this is what happens when you're surrounded by absolute yes men, butthole licking freaks, dude. I shit it on him. Is it shitted? Shitted. <laughs> Would it be shit on? Yeah. Chat. Does he know or that, chat. or is he just, is that like a meme? It's, shit it on. It's, um, it's, a it's a goof. It's a goof. It's a goof, dude. Stop being so modest. He uh, shit it on him, bro. Man, do, do you guys have like the whole yeah, floor some shit? Like, what is that? I feel like we're... It's like slang. This is like a... Like a it, it, it's, I mean, look at this. It's all he can think about. This man landed, and he's immediately talking about it. He... It, it, he it's okay, man. Just just own it that you took an L today, and that's how you learn and grow. Yesterday, Monday. Secret floor, something like that. Oh, man, this is a high quality product. Real shit, though, Felix. I want to say I stand by you, bro. When you react to a video, the creator, the original creator, can literally claim the video and take all the money. That's what I said. It's just <laughs> yeah. Clearly, we've uh, made progress here. Yeah, like kids on the playground. That's what I said. God, these morons. Dude, we just had like an hour and a half conversation about it. So stupid. <laughs> and, if, and if they're really small, I'll help them out. I'll, I'll do whatever they want me to do because like, it's all about like, making something good. It's all about, about me. Audio. It's all about my content. What about my content? Vince is still waiting for a response to your DM, brother. It's me. Is this XQC right now? With the watch. Uh. Is that he reacts to videos, but he the, the the small creators get mad when he reacts to them. But the small creators can. It's not even the small creators. It's everybody, right? It's everybody. You don't get to steal anybody's content. Anybody. That's it. You should ask for permission first. Given the quality of a react that he does, which essentially is re-uploading. Claim his video and take it, take the money that's from his video. You know what's crazier? It's not even them that are complaining. It's the people that that are that have no part in it. I know. You keep saying that, but like, that's not true. There are people complaining. You just don't want to see them. The random. This this conversation didn't come from the ether. I think it started from someone complaining, and then Vince complained, who you're ignoring. Yeah, 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 bro. I'll be honest. Man, I just hate the internet sometimes. We're a lot of people yeah. are pussy, bro. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we're too young for this shit, and if you are too old for this shit, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, it is. Well, maybe you're 30 year old ass. Aiden's fucking 23. At least he has an excuse for being a dumbass. 
Yeah, I'm seeing people with like full grown ass beards and shit and like. Yo, what the fuck are you talking about? Let's go. Yeah. Uh, if you got fucking gray hair and kids, should be on fucking Twitter, man. Yeah, facts. Get off the internet. Get off that shit. Touch him. His bodyguards must think this is just the weirdest job, huh? They're like, what the fuck is this? I follow this kid around. Not funny or interesting. He sits at the black tech table, loses two hundred thousand dollars. What's happening? <laughs> Get this. <Brat. laughs> Oh yeah, I, have, I, I heard there's a little bit of yeah, Ethernet, yeah, yeah. but since it is live, I can take it like a day off. You're good. I'm, I'm, I'm leeching. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> are you gonna do a, Are you gonna do a desktop stream tomorrow? You uh, yeah, like, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I guess I guess I'm set yeah, to address. I'm saying okay, cool. They'll be up and running tomorrow. Yeah. Work it. Yo, Aiden, let me secure this uh, elevator for you. All right, come on, dude. You're good. All right, cool. Sweet. Regardless, though, I could just always do IRL and just no problem. Give you brought your backpack? Oh uh, no. Oh, okay. I'm saying you could use mine. I'm not using it. This whole posse thing, must they must feel so important, you know what I mean? Yeah. But there it is. Clearly, uh, we've had some good progress here on the fair use conversation. Um, that's about it. Oh, here's the sub I wanted to look at. And then this is the last thing I'll talk about, about XQC. Oh, here. This is, this is sweet, actually. Okay. Oh, he said, I laughed, I smiled and laughed for the first time in a while without having to force anything. Fun time today at, with Aiden. I think we go big tomorrow. I'm just grateful for today. Well, that's nice. Love these two guys, man. Glad he can make you laugh and put a smile on your face, brother. Yeah, but this sub's pretty good. Again, I don't know what's going on on the XQ Cow subreddit. But they're all uh, watch memes. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, here it is. It's just this shit. Awesome. This one. Awesome. <laughs> Addict, addicted. Beware. Okay, that's it. I don't know. So that's it. That's all I have to say about that topic. Any questions? Any comments? Any concerns? Thank you, guys. I gotta say, I have a little tiny bit of a bone to pick with Hassan tomorrow. Do you? Because I was watching his response to the debate. Mm -hmm. And he's running D for XQC a little bit. And I think he's dead wrong. And so, Hassan, you better be ready tomorrow, boy. Because I'm going <laughs> to respectfully disagree with you. Okay. Unlike, I will very respectfully disagree with you. Look forward to that. <laughs> uh, so up next we've got um, Mr. Beast sued for a hundred million. Let's go. Sheesh. Sheesh. Uh, so Mr. Beast, you guys remember he sued. I remember him. Yeah, you guys heard of him. <laughs> Never heard oh of Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast. He got, or he sued this ghost kitchen company mm -hmm. for a hundred million for serving raw meat and all this kind of shit. So then they said, no, you. <laughs> We're suing you for a hundred million dollars over breach of contract. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to the article. We Mr. Beast sued for one hundred million dollars <laughs> over breach of contract yeah, by company good. running his ghost kitchens. Okay. By Molly Bohannon. Oh. Hey, Top Molly. line. Shout out Molly. YouTuber Mr. Beast is being sued by the company that runs Mr. Beast Burger, a virtual restaurant chain, and it's that is actually pretty cool for accessibility. Like for yeah, no, that's mm -hmm. good. That is really cool. Yeah. So um, key facts: virtual dining concepts, a subsidiary of virtual celebrity virtual dining, has filed suit against Mr. Beast. The suit alleges Donaldson didn't meet promotional obligations and goes further to say he made disparaging comments about Beast Burger and VDC that caused irreparable harm, pointing to a number of now-deleted tweets in which Donaldson said he wanted to end the partnership and signed a bad deal. Well, listen, first of all, I can say, as an audience member, this man promoted the fuck out of Beast Burger. 
you know. At a certain Early point, on, yeah. dude, a lot. It was in like oh, every, all tweets, videos, everywhere. And at a certain point, look, if your food is, is causing a health risk to his audience, I think he's morally obligated to stop sending people to eat raw chicken <laughs> and raw ground beef, you know. Yeah. So I'm not sure about that one, guys. Seems reasonable. Uh, VDC argues in the suit that the restaurant, Mr. Beast Burger, and company suffered a damaged or destroyed reputation from Donaldson's statements. Yeah, it's called You Suck. <laughs> Including losing vendors, supplies, and customers that caused damage in the nine-figure range. Nine-figure range? So wait, nine figures? Wouldn't that be a hundred million? Mm -hmm. No way! Shut up! How many Beast Burgers for... would hundred million? What's a Beast Burger cost? Five bucks? What's a hundred million divided by five? Well, but they're saying they're losing vendors, suppliers, like pe like other businesses don't want to work with them anymore. No, they probably shouldn't. Twenty million, I guess. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's twenty million. Right. Just from the... twenty million beast burgers. Actually, I could see them selling that many. Really? I mean, Maybe. it's all over America. It's yeah. Mister. It, it's. Jimmy B. Even I hate that here. shit and I've ordered it like four times. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they opened in Sweden too. So, Whoa. Yeah, really? One in Sweden. Well, guys, I guess it sucks to suck. The suit comes just one week after Donaldson sued virtual dining concepts seeking to end their relationship, arguing that they were giving customers low-quality products, delivering late, and unbranded packaging. That's all true. It happened to me. They were sometimes inedible. Donaldson was seeking the immediate right to end the deal and undisclosed monetary damages. Uh, this case is about a social media personality who believes his fame means that his word does not matter. Shut up. Sounds like Cav Cav bullshit. <laughs> that the facts do not matter. That he can renege and breach on contractual obligations without consequences. Shut the fuck up. I hate people to talk like that. He is mistaken. That's giving Cav Cav DM energy. <laughs> just, you know, just own up, man. Your shit sucks. So let's see. I guess they warned him. They said, Beast, don't sue us. Said it's meritless and, un and ill advised. By countless sharks. <laughs> Okay, so apparently this is what he said that he's now deleted that they're saying was they didn't even say defamatory. They said it was just uh, disparaging. The company I partnered with won't let me stop even though it's terrible for my brand. It's not that bad. Well, I mean, I don't know. It was getting him a lot of heat and a lot of oh, yeah. attention. We well, talked about it. I was like, why are you still doing this? I genuinely was wondering, yeah. why are you doing this? This shit sucks, man. Right. And he's got such a, you know, squeaky clean image and everything that being associated with, like, salmonella is definitely... <laughs> Mr. Beast and salmonella go together like yeah. peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I but, where um, he's coming from. Probably worth it even just to break the contract. It's just doing too much damage to his to his image. I see uh, Chatter just said that uh, when uh, Emily Baker was talking about this, uh, she compared it to Cav Cav. She did. Yeah, I love her. <laughs> she's such a bright. She's so uh, you know. She's so cool. She sees everything. She sees the truth. Thank you. Very perceptive. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cav Cav, you a fucking bitch. Five angry. That, Glad I had the opportunity to do some good calf calf press on Howard's show as well. Yeah, yeah. Spread the word. Spread the gospel. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you type uh, hmm. Ryan Kavanaugh into Google or Bing or whatever you like. Google.com? Google.com or Bing.com right, right, right. or Yahoo.com. What about Yahoo.com? What about Ask G? What about Yahoo.com, actually? Have we checked this one? Yeah. I think Ryan we're number one. I think it's... We're top three on, on all of them. Yeah, let's type. Ryan Kavanaugh. Let's see what Google, what's, if Yahoo can provide us. Yo, Yahoo's got us down. Fuck. Bro. Number two for me. Oh, maybe you, you visited before. I can go. Uh, computer or something? Let me do uh, incognito. It's. it's I, be I just did it and I. Oh, wait. Never mind. <laughs> it was the top one. result. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was I missed it.
Yahoo's a very reputable. <laughs> it's number well, they two. Just, they also had it down at the bottom. I, I missed the one. Because it's up. such a good website, they're probably linking to one of our sub pages. Wow. Right. Big game. Something like that. Because here's the thing. That's Yahoo! awesome. And I mean, you could even see the number two search is Ryan Cavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, no longer. Proving that yeah. the confusion is real. Yeah. Ryan Cavanaugh, Ethan Klein, I mean, lower on the list because clearly our association is not that big of a deal. Right. Yahoo! <laughs> Wait, what, what, why, Mario? He's saying Yahoo. Oh, Yahoo. Oh, God. of good. course. Good, 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 good. good, good. <laughs> funny. Love that, Zach. You're a good man. <laughs> yeah, no, Yahoo's a good uh, search engine. They know what they're doing. But obviously the, the majority of people use Google, so let's do that. Google.com. Ryan Kavanaugh. Go ahead, type that in your browser, guys, and remember to write the name. Let's mm -hmm. Google some ISIS videos. No, Elo. No, what? Let's not do that. <laughs> and then <laughs> click the URL if you don't mind. And uh, I guess it's under some heavy... It's not loading, love. Oh yeah, it's probably a high load. It's getting a lot of it's getting a lot of. But honestly, it doesn't right really now. matter according to Google. Just click on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we've done watching. our job, yeah. Don't worry about the it's content whatever. of the website. It's fine. No, well, the content is good. Wait well, for it. Read yeah. it. Spend yeah, some okay, time yeah, there. It. It's kind of like a vibe there. Just spend some time. Yeah. Keep it open. Thirty seconds is a good good indicator for Google to know that it's a valuable site. No, no, no. Or you more. mean 30 seconds is how much you need to spend to get the minimum amount of information. Sh right, that's would exactly need. what I mean, yeah. Not about anything else than that. No, of course. There it is. Mm -hmm. Love them. Shout out. All right. What else we got? We got Sniper Wolf, Darman shit. We got Man Exposed for Sniffing Girls' Asses. That one was crazy. <laughs> that, that one, one is really crazy. crazy. Uh, there was some stuff that we skipped over up in the goofs and gaffs too if you want to circle back to any of that Yeah, we can do the fan render This was pretty wild how accurate this was This dude made a render of our office and like At this moment, it's It's close pretty much Pretty much right on <laughs> they got it? the cups up they on the wall some parts at the back yeah, yeah, you're yeah, gonna like see in a right second. Here. Okay, so that so far it's really, really yeah. accurate. And this obviously was before we just did the recent uh, reconstruction. Bit... See right there. Oh, this is it. A actually huge goes mistake. quite a bit further back. This is a huge mistake, you guys. This yeah. is a huge <laughs> mistake. Yeah, no, this is this is not accurate. This is it's really error. bad, actually. This is really right. bad. This part though is. Dude, they even got the roof. Right. What yeah. the fuck? That mm -hmm. shit's fully accurate. That's uh, nuts, man. Uh, Enemy's table over there. We got the big rat, the gym, the H3 gym. The gym. Carpet? The pingus table. The pingus table. Dude. Shout out, I guess. Creepy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Lovebot used to see when everyone went home. Yeah. Funny. <laughs> so shout out to uh, Aardvark with a saw. Shout out. Shout out to Aardvark. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, Turner... This was and the Hooch, exposed. What's going now on? this is the guy who exposed Mr. Turner. Beast, right? Quote unquote exposed. He called into our show. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, he, he was yes. an editor for Mr. Beast. I think Beast. more more famous for being a Big Brother contestant. Yes. Right, and he was on Big Brother. And, and, a, and a Fupa Trooper who... Friend of the show. Friend of the show, yeah. And here he went out to the infamous slide in Boston to do an in-depth Field report analysis. Now let's take a look. What's going on, H3 Nation? My name is Turner. I've been on the podcast about a year ago, but today we are in Boston, most notable for the tea party, but second most notable <laughs> for the viral TikTok slide right behind me. David, show them what it is. Well, today we have one single goal for the H3 family, and that is we're going to see if it is possible to go down this slide right here, built for children, as fast as the policeman did in viral TikTok. So let's get to it. Let's get some head trauma, and let's see if it's possible to die on a children's I got to slide. say, shout out, he he heeded right, the call. Down the slide, pick number one. I I really, I wanted a goddamn uh, experimental video and he delivered. If I feel like I shoot myself, I could go a lot faster. Yeah. You gotta take oh. those shoes off, bro. <laughs> boost, but still not even that was close. Like, it was no. decent. It was decent that momentum that time. Me up. Did that look as intense as that felt? Damn, it, that dude, no, I mean, it app, didn't. Bro. Wait, dude, dude, the cop ass... did something in that slide, because I up, swear you, to God. Can, Dan, can you pull up the cop one and so you yeah, yeah. can constantly compare? Because, again, we're not understanding how crazy 
that man got catapulted out of that. Mm -hmm. Someone I mean, got to get out there with a reflective thing. Those are super slippery. Mm. You really Against, think it's the it, yes, it's the hazard yes, vest? A hundred percent. He's mm. airbound as he comes flying out of the tube. There's some <laughs> type of he did something. What to was come he out shot like at that. a cannon? I mean, what? How many options are there? Oh. You know, he did it's something. Wrong link. Sorry. Oh shit! There's more Kai no, updates. I'm sorry. No, no, no. He was really trying to send a cop one. He sent the wrong link. Okay. Oh. All right. So let's take a look at the cop. Oh, you send it to me. Sure, I'll he almost it. hurts to walk. Take care, I'll, I'll just throw it up over here. <laughs> Bro. That, that's <laughs> so crazy. I mean, listen, he flies like 20 feet off the ramp. <laughs> How does that happen? I think there's a lot to do with his the fabric. Because he had to have <laughs> flipped yeah, way before going, that. Yeah, you can see him going up on the right side of the slide. <laughs> Dude, so he nothing gonna... but head connecting to the slide right now. No, the velocity it just can't be. It can't be. There's not enough. We need we need to find him. We, we need, need to, to find talk him. to him. Oh, we interview the cop. Him. If anybody knows this cop, do you see kind of what happened though at the end there? Holy the shit. the edge kind of catapults him. Well, right the, when he comes out. Yeah. No, the edge saved his life. No, I mean when he comes out of the hole. He hit it hard. He was yeah, going fast. that is what makes him fly. Look. <laughs> on the right. on that like side, Boom. right? <laughs> like he almost flies off completely, right? There. Yeah, that, he could have got really, I feel like, injured. <laughs> well, do we know? Do we know that he didn't? <laughs> yeah, do we know? He's kind of... <laughs> we have to find him. <laughs> oh yeah, the... Shredder, what is your problem oh. lately, dude? Okay, like this. So this one is. This isn't what um, I'm thinking. Just the reflective part. Yeah, touch the reflect. The reflective part. Yeah. This part. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty slick. That, Imagine that, material. that on slick iron. Like, yeah. Completely polished. Anyway, let's let's continue the video. This pain is actually setting in, like no joke. This isn't even for camera, bro. My ass really hurts right now. Severe bruising, he said. Dude, my, dude no, I'm not even kidding when I say my ass is killing. Break myself. I feel like everyone's going down this normally, but no one's going down the way the cop went down. So you're gonna commentate, all right? I just hope I do not have to take brother to the hospital. He is entering the slide. All right, I think he's in the slide now. We're hearing bro come out back. And yeah, and he came out on his belly. I think maybe bro was just built bigger and yeah, bouncier. It's his clothes. It's bouncier. bouncier. Yeah, with sure. my cameraman. So after going down the slide four or That's five so times funny. and being here for about 30 minutes, specifically waiting for the adults to show up because again, this is a kid's playground. I think it's safe to say that <laughs> Bro was built different. Obviously, you know, the, the video recently, the cop going down the slide. Of course. I wanted to recreate that, but I cannot find out how the fuck he was able to get that much speed. <laughs> also, have you ever heard of the H3 podcast? I have. I haven't seen it. Though. Oh, this slide, oh. it's huge. But <laughs> Shout it's out, bro. New fan unlocked, maybe? Maybe. Material that'll probably not. Probably, but by his tone, probably not. He's like, mm-hmm. I don't know. Allows you to go down that fast. Um, I went down in the silkiest clothes I could find. Oh, on okay. Ethan's recommendation. That's okay. it for me. I guess that shirt does look mm. pretty silky. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really want, and, and thank you, by the way. Uh, this was a phenomenal report. Yes, thank yeah. you, Turner. Shout Turner, out. thank you Shout so out. much. This was, this was very useful. He's so at gross. Turner, T U R N U R R, on Instagram. But uh, if somebody, again, in the Boston area, we need, first of all, we need to do it with, like, skiing outfit. Yeah. And then we need to potentially, and maybe you guys can stop me if this is a bad idea, but applying some kind of lubricant to their... You, you know what? I, I was looking at this video, and it's wet, it's humid. That's not good. That's no good, because everyone knows who's been on a slide when it's kind of wet, mm -hmm. it stops you immediately. Yeah. I, no shoes, dry as fuck, and a fucking reflective vest, and you're gonna fly out like that cop did for do, sure. Do you think it would be irresponsible to slick the slide? If I was there, I'd do it. We could take a dummy, <laughs> like a weighted dummy. Well, I'm just afraid about kids going down the next day and getting like oh, destroyed. Oh, yes. <laughs> destroyed. <laughs> you know, bring out some sailor's oil or whatever. Uh, boats. Okay. I was just sent a video. That, uh, Thank you, buddy. It's probably the uh, the best recreation I've yeah. seen so far. This one's really this one good. Is pretty good. Ooh. It's still not quite to the cops level, but it's close. Here, take a look. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Wait, why so, so why so short? Let me talk to them. <laughs> so that I think they 
I mean, you, is it sped up? Mm. But they no, because they. No, I don't think off. so. Yeah, no, that, that looks natural. To Why me. do they always end it? I need more information. I need to talk to them. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. That's the best recreation I've seen so far. No, it's not bad. He he he's right on, frankly. Or she. Can't yeah, tell. I think she. Well, beautiful. Nice. Well done. That's well my done. city. Boston, okay. baby. It's all happening in Boston. I love that dirty water. I was <laughs> literally just gonna fucking say that again. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank AI you. edit of the crew as Legos. Have you seen this? this no. Is so you funny. seen this? Have you heard about this? It's Have you heard crazy. about this? It's absolutely great. Wait, I look good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they like great. cleaned me up, kind of. Mm-hmm. Like that. Hila? <laughs> hey. She looks fire. Hot. <laughs> Lena? Lena's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Pretty good. There's some very cursed ones in here. Wait, who's this? <laughs> I don't even know who this is meant to be. So this is love. Yep. Oh, that and one's not... They that kinda, one I'm not feeling. They hey, kind of turn them into like Swedish nationalist fascist <laughs> love. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I guess yeah, that yeah. Swedish flag is a dead giveaway. Love yeah. Alini over here. <laughs> this, is Dan, this is Dan, I'm assuming, with a cute little kind of nose. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Uh, <laughs> what's the AI trying to say about my nose? <laughs> nobody else has a nose that sticks out like that. Pinocchio I wouldn't take it personally. Tell. I don't like sure. a big schnoz. Pinocchio before the lies. <laughs> is this Olivia? No, I think that's Sam. Oh, God. Right. Oh, my God, Sam, you look beautiful. She got a little baby yeah, there. Stunning. <laughs> yeah, stunning. Yeah, stunning. Kim Kardashian. That's Yo. a Lego. Okay, okay. Well, that's weird, because it looks like you. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then they just, like, did a, a Lego filter on you. Mm -hmm. I love this AI, because it makes everything that looks like a human to a little human, like, in the background. Right. Just made a little character back there. Love fun. Our ABs, yours is good, man. Thank it's right you. on. It looks like guts. I don't want your beard is red, but that hey. hair is crazy. Zacky boy, yo, oh the God. unit. This I look like so bad. That's fuck, dude. I I am so flattered by that one. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? Cam, Cam is a little <laughs> little <laughs> grandma. You look like a Librarian. substitute teacher out here. <laughs> a little grandma. <laughs> Did you turn in your tests? <laughs> oh, Mister verified himself. That, Powerful. That's that right. is good. That is good. Jimmy, <laughs> they got the hairline right. That rules. Oh, it's probably Martin. the best Martin. one. Martin, that one is clearly. We all know who that is. PMP, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Swedish. That's uh, the IKEA outfit. Yeah, IKEA boy. Mm -hmm. This one's better, Dan. Yeah, that's but the they one did your me. nose kind of crazy again. Yeah, that's the one of me screaming. That meme <laughs> oh, that everybody oh, always oh. posts. Okay. This is Jimmy uh, Lee and and uh, a version of Ethan that. Oh, it's frankly, me. or is that Gary? I think it's me. Uh, no, I think, I think that's supposed to be Ethan. Yeah, look at us, just a couple guys. <laughs> By the way, Jimmy was uh, flattered that you brought him up on the podcast yesterday. Oh yeah. He, oh, you did. Happen. I forget how that happened. Oh yeah, one of Howie's crew members was at the live show. Was a fan and right. oh. was thanking him so much, and he said he even got a tomato. Nice. Huh? Started talking about. Nice, nice. Yeah, That's we awesome. gave we gave Jimmy a shout out. This is good. Somebody made us the H three hater bingo card, and I do think that this is going to be a really good kind of a post conversation analysis. Like we can do this with XQC. Let's yep. take a look here. So, did he call me fat? Um, I don't think so. There was one part where he like rapid fire was yeah. throwing a bunch of insults at you. I don't remember if fat was in the mix. Hmm. Do you? It, bald was. Bald yeah, was. I don't remember because that one stands that out because it's just like, wait, what? Hates exercise. I don't think he hit me on that. Ugly? I don't think so. Well, I mean, he insulted at your appearance, I guess. Yeah. What did he say? Generally, You're old, old your ugly, gray. ugly, old. Well, old is its own category. Actually. Right. Yeah. So, okay, Ethan, he did okay, say. Ethan. Okay, we got that one for sure. So, okay. the Tourette's, he did make fun of, but not in the debate. Does that count? It's a I hater bingo. He's a hater, so. I think it counts. Okay. Yeah. I think it counts. Is somebody marking these off? Here, I'll do it right now. Cam's got you. Woke? In the future, 
I could even set this up as a graphic that I have pop up during the debate. That would be and I could be phenomenal. phenomenal. Just like, phenomenal. just real quick, just every time so a new good. one gets uh, X'd off. He didn't hit me on the woke. He did hit me on Hassan. Yep, for sure. He did not hit the fallen fan. He yeah. did hit the hypocrite hard. Oh, big time. He hit old hard. He hit the divorce. No Trisha. Oof. Didn't hit the Jew. We almost got that, that cross there. Didn't hit the Jew, right? Teddy, Teddy Fresh, Fresh, he yeah. hit. Fell off? I, I, in I in a way, so. I think he kind of did. What did he say? Well, he was like talking about like your audience, right? And well, he, maybe maybe because the watch DM was kind of like, when you're broke and your career's over. Right, broke bitch. Mm -hmm. So I guess we can give him fell off, maybe. I don't think he called it Ela ugly. But he did kind of go after her. Right. Maybe it should just be like insult. Insult, insult Ela. Ela. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you worried about my wife? Because I feel like that's a whole basket. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think we uh, got a bingo there, though. Can we see uh, the final card? Yeah, here, Cam, I think, just sent it. Did he say divorce or no? I can't... No. No. Wait, he did. Yeah, he, no, did, he did say divorce. Yeah. He said divorce. Yeah. yeah. Well, then we got a bingo, I think. Well... Really? I don't know if he... No, he never did. called me ugly. No, because... Uh, oh, he didn't say Pull up the card, so. pull up the card. The divorce I, thing, I think he... That was ambiguous. That was you that said divorce. You were like, oh, oh you're going you're s going through all the things that everybody always says. What next? Am I, I'm getting a divorce? No, no, no. But it's because he was like, oh, you should leave him. I had, you know... Okay, I mean, I guess that counts. All right, well, when we got a bingo. But... Okay, but did he didn't really? call me ugly. Yeah, we didn't get one. Well... <laughs> When did he call me? I saw ugly? I saw the chat saying he kind of did. I, I I don't know when. I, I you know I'm being I want to be really uh, sincere about this. Right. In fact, we can analyze our previous debates now too to see if we have any bingos. Okay, yeah, we can fun. send prizes. <laughs> yeah, he talked about your hairline. Mm, that's not ugly. That's. Well, the fall on the ball. Called you a possum. Called me a possum. Yeah, opossum. I remember that. <laughs> he did. He, yeah, he house, called me yeah. an opossum. That's kind of that's. Opossums aren't <laughs> ugly. I mean, I think that they're cute, but they're generally ugly, considered yes. ugly. Like yeah, see, there you go. AB, I think, has the... Opossums are kind of... All right, we might be stretching Thank it a little opossums bit, Opossums are but. sweet little creatures. Those are scary, ugly motherfuckers. No, they're so beautiful, dude. <laughs> so I like opossums, yeah, too. They are a little... The they're they're cute, beautiful. but they are a little scary. That's what makes them beautiful. All right, so we'll, we'll give him on the ugly. I don't think we'll so. We'll give Let's do a poll. I think that's the only fair way. I personally... You know, in the interest of, of being as fair as possible, I don't remember a feeling that he called me ugly. You I feel like ask ugly him, is you ugly. You think I'm ugly? In DM. <laughs> um, are you we think pulling, I'm ugly? Kidding. Are we pulling if he called you ugly, or yeah. are we asking if possums are ugly? No, no, no. Did he call me ugly? Yes or no? And you can interpret that however you want. Dude. I think there's squares missing, like, you know, bringing up past controversies like the NRA stuff, or... I don't True. Know, ben Shapiro stuff. I feel like that's brought up a lot too. These are all really good though, so it's hard to. I wonder what. I guess hates exercise. Fat. Maybe that's one category. Yeah, you could c group those together. Fat slash hates exercise. Mm -hmm. Um. Did XUC call him ugly? I'm gonna say no. Wow. Overwhelming. Say yes. Yeah. It seems seems like it's a yes. Sorry, XQC. I was I was on your side on this one, buddy. It was implied. They say okay. He implied it. So then we have a- we actually have a winner. Wow. And- you got bingo. Dude, he almost won three ways, so... That's good. Shout out. Can we print this out with a picture of XQC? And then let's do one for, like, Pearl. And then we can print out each one's hater bingo card. Right. Pearl, I think, hits pretty much all of them. Let's- let's clear the board and let's think- let's do it for Pearl. It was- Long wait, he did call me soy. Mm. Soy means woke, doesn't it? Or does it mean beta? Well, it means more like, yeah, it's more like um, beta. But see, that's know. also good. I th there's there's overlap, there's a Venn diagram there, but yeah, you but guys yeah, I agree. Uh, like, beta or soy should be a category. I'm really, t I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> wait, you don't want to do one for Pearl? I was just saying, I it. I won't remember the details of what she said as well. I think well. I'll remember if we go over it one by okay. one. Okay, alright. Let's, uh... I'm really... I don't think Pearl's up. gonna get a bingo. Really? Did she ever call me fat? I don't think so. See, I don't remember. Did she ever say I hate exercise? I don't think so. She wouldn't dare say bad things about men. No. 
Not me. It goes against her I'm entire a man. ideology. Right. Wait, I don't think she's scoring a lot. She never called me ugly. She may have said, okay, <laughs> okay. Ethan. Okay. That, does that count as okay, Ethan? I'd, I'd say yes. Uh, yeah, you can okay. watch it. She never made fun of my Tourette's. She does think I'm woke, that's for sure. Yeah. She did, did, she didn't mention Hassan. She's not, oh, she is a Fallen fan. She mentioned Frenemies. Hello. Right, she did. She used to love watching Frenemies. Right. Um. Which does that autom does that automatically give the Trisha box too? Down below? Well, yeah, I think it might. That one, sure. I think Trisha, yeah, she mentioned Trisha. Although it wasn't like in a, like, oh, you worked with Trisha, so no. you're... Right. Which I think was the intention of this. Well, if we give the Trisha, I think we got it, because if you look at that bottom right corner... She ugly called wife. Ugly. She called it... Yeah, she's not, she's older than 24. Oh, I guess. But did she call her ugly? Or she just said any She effectively man? does, yeah. I feel like you're over the hill. That. You're, you're, you're used up. If you're over that. I think you can, imp I think you can extract that from her stance. She didn't make fun of me being Jew. She didn't make fun of Chetty Fred. Oh, we got to give her the Jew though. After she, she did the Jew song. Uh, yeah. Oh, she did do the Jew song. I, <laughs> I have it if you. Yeah, that's no, fresh. She's definitely anesthetic. So. Talk about the... We haven't talked about that. Wait, we never talked about this. Yeah, I had the Piers Morgan. I had it in leftovers last week, and send it to me. instead we argued about fair use for an hour. Okay, well, send it to me. It's still good. <laughs> Okay. So here is Pearl's uh, final board, and actually, she got quite lucky with this bingo because XQC had a lot more points. She didn't really say anything. Also, she spent a lot of time scrambling. Mm. I don't think she got the okay, Ethan. I'll be honest. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're stretching it. I think we're stretching, we're stretching it. all of them. Ugly wife is a stretch. Yeah. Trish is a stretch. Yeah. She was very respectful, if you think about it, you compared to XQC. Sebastian's got to be a bingo. Well, Keemstar is a full board, I was just thinking about, right? Oh, let's do a Keemstar one, and then we'll move on. He has to be the full board, let's right? Let's do the Keemstar one and see. Keemstar literally has like a sound bite for each of these. <laughs> You're probably yeah. right. <laughs> All right, fat, yes. <laughs> Hates exercise, yes. Ugly, yes. Yeah. Has he said okay, Ethan? Right, that's the clue. I feel like yes. I mean, he's talked about you okay. in a lot of videos. Then. We don't have yeah, proof. I can hear his yeah. voice. Okay, bitch. Okay, okay, okay bitch. bitch. Guys. We don't have proof. Yeah, okay. Listen, Ethan. Wait, has he made fun of my Tourette's? He must- Oh, yeah, yeah he must. Yeah, he <laughs> yeah, many he, times. He made, many yeah, times. He made Twitter videos about it. Yeah, many times. Uh, woke, yes. <laughs> Hassan, yes. Mm -hmm. Or Hussein. What does this one say? Fallen fan. fan. Fallen fan, yes. He's still a fan, to be honest. Yeah, Hypocrite, every, yes. Every day. Every single day. Hypocrite. Old, yes. Divorce. Yes. Trisha, yes. Jew, yes. Death to Teddy Fresh, Jews. yes. Fell off, yes. Ugly wife, yes. Wow. So he, he has a total blackout except for okay, Ethan. I'm we gotta find gonna it. Take the Teddy Fresh we gotta away. find it. If somebody finds it, we can have a full blackout. Wow, congratulations, Keemstar. <laughs> yeah. Nice. A total flawless victory almost. High score. Wow, nobody's ever gonna top that. <laughs> Good job, man. Be proud of that. I hate Keemstar. Me too. I mean, nah. Nah. Murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me watch this Pearl stuff. Because we've been putting this off for a minute, and I really love this clip. So Pearl went on Piers Morgan. Who's a douche. And she's been like a regular contributor to his show. I think this is her third time calling in. She's in person. It's not even a call -in. Right. Oh, she's in living studio. in England. She's yeah. living in the UK. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, that makes sense. So, mm -hmm. I think they must have some kind of understanding about what he'll talk about and what he'll, because she's so shocked. No. She's horrified when he pulls up this Jew song and confronts her about it. Mm -hmm. Because I, I think she thought they were friends or something. And Pierce kind of threw her under the bus. He thought she thought he's one of us. Yeah, I have a tweet from her from after um, saying Pierce Morgan's producer told told it was this is good grammar here. Uh, Pierce Morgan's producer told it was a pro free speech debate. They set up their guests and lied to me about who I was debating till right before and falsely defamed me as anti Semitic. <laughs> How about this? Just don't do like uh, what about the Jews song? And you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> 
Listen, if you, this is my advice to you, and I, I carry myself with this mentality too. If you've done a What About the Jews song, always be ready to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done horrible, offensive things in my past, and I'm always ready to talk about them. Right. Yeah. Don't get caught off guard. Because People are going to ask. Yeah, because... She's new to this. Stuff. And they have every right to ask about it, right? Uh -huh. And I have, uh, I have every obligation to explain it. So that's my advice to you, uh, Pearly Gate. Well, she has a great explanation in this clip, so Let's see. She, I think she handled it really well. Carl Davis is the self-styled <laughs> anti-feminist influencer who's creating major buzz online with a contrarian view. She's appeared in a couple of debates on this show. Well, well, it is. They didn't lie. It says hate speech versus free speech. It just so happens that she's on the hate speech side. <laughs> Censored after all, we welcome anyone. I love how they frame this. Controversial YouTuber releases anti-Semitic song inspired by Nick Fuentes. That sounds pretty bad, Pearly. Honestly held opinions. But this week, she's facing a major backlash of posting a song titled, Why Can't We Talk About the Jews? Which is dedicated <laughs> to far-right commentator Nick Fuentes before later <laughs> deleting it. Why are you so, like, just roll with it? Can you not look, like, <laughs> blindsided? You're so bad she at this. She does that a lot. It's weird. <laughs> she, she looks like the character from Recess. You know that show? Yeah, I do. Which character? Oh, uh, I forget her name. Recess. She has like show? negative media training. They're like, okay, if you get surprised by something, look shocked, aghast, and speechless. Oh. Oh. Right. I think she's I know giving. Oh my. Who the the glasses girl? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't even care. Once you go anti-Semitic, it's kind of game on. Well, this isn't the most brutal takedown okay, I've ever heard. You could say but, anything but you I, want. I just not sure I agree 100%. That's fine. That's fine. They're gingerly. Gingerly. <laughs> the gingerly. Here. <laughs> Look how dumb she looks. We talk about the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Without getting kicked off of YouTube. Now I'm not saying. Hitler was a good guy. Bro, you're crazy. <laughs> you're She's not, not saying that. Hold on, Ethan. Give her a chance. Okay, She's you're not right. Maybe that. let me let me let her finish. Let her yeah, finish. let her finish. Let her finish. Let her cook. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, start. Can we get up? There was a the, but after the but after the not right. saying Hitler was a good the, guy. Can we get that we disavow this morons? Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I disavow. I, also, I'm Hold Jewish. On. I don't tolerate this. Ian probably has to pull it. We are criticizing it. We are disavowing it. We do not support anti-Semitism. You should not be anti-Semitic. Do we have it up? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, thank here we go. You. Dumbass alert. All right, here we go. Now I'm not saying Hitler was a good guy. Hitler was a good guy. Okay. Woof. But I don't wanna know. Why? Ew. Now there's all these conspiracy theories. And the more they talk, I think maybe they're right. I love that Pierce plays the extended version too. Mm -hmm. He really lets it run. Yeah. But I can't even listen to the convo. Well, Paul. That's pretty vile, girl. It's not great. You gotta, I mean, listen, you can't have it both ways. You can't have your cake and eat it, too. If you want to go do anti-Semitic songs and shticks, you don't also get to be a part of mainstream media and pretend like you're not, like, an anti-Semitic freak, racist, troll, freakazoid. That, that's, that's fucking sickening. What she just did. Well, it, it, I agree. And to be fair, I mean, it's pretty much on par with, well, is it, I mean, she, everything she says is vile. Sure, yeah, yeah I agree, yeah, but yeah. I just, I don't know. As a Jewish person, to, to see so much mainstream anti-Semitic, yeah, no, it's, it's hot, pretty disturbing. Anti-Semitism is hot, hot, hot right now, boy. A hot topic. What is, what's going on with all the Jews? It's only a matter of time before <laughs> we see that. What's with all these Jews? Actually, no, Chappelle did that. He did do that. Oh, he did. Stand up. He's, you know the, the bit I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying Jews own everything. I'm Jews. just saying... We can't talk about it, right, folks? Jay-Z, even on his, um, it was a few years ago, he had a record. There was a, some anti-Semitic. Uh, was it the one, the story of OJ? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that song, but I, yeah. was, uh, I always raise my eyebrow when he's like, there's a reason the Jews own everything. <laughs> yeah. We need to be more like them. <laughs> right, exactly. That song is iconic, though, but. Uh, Great beat. I mean, and, and Michael Jackson did it, too. He has a song where he says, don't Jew me. 
Right. Like, straight up, he says, don't Jew me. He says the Kessler in it, too. The Kessler? Mm hmm. The, the bad word for a Jewish person. Oh, Kessler. He does? Yeah. But, like, not, and he's not using it, is he? He says it. Right. He says it. Yeah, no, obviously. The, the song is like an anti oh, so, bigotry song so or whatever. Is he saying but... it ironically, like, don't Jew me, as in don't say that? Look up the lyrics. I don't think. Okay, as as Dan researches Michael Jackson, let's watch this. He joins me now, along with the New York uh, author and founder of End Jew Hatred, Brooke Goldstein. Oh no, he brought out a Goldstein. Goldstein? <laughs> he brought out a Goldstein from End Jew Hatred. That's the Bowser of the situation. Guess what? Guess what, bitch? You brought this Goldstein on yourself. That is worse than Bernstein, my friend. Mm, you're about to get cut. <laughs> right, Paul. <laughs> You've come on the show a couple of times, right? We've had some spirited debates about mm -hmm. feminism and stuff like that. And I thought you made some good points and it's got lots of traction. Then I wake up the other day and I see this thing that's trending involving you doing this song. I do, I do think, however, that <laughs> the stuff he, she is saying about women is all... I don't think people are appreciating how fucked up and vile it also it's is. It's crazy. Yeah, I love how Pierce, Pierce is, is like, like, that is cool. We can have a spirit yeah, debate about that. Yeah, yeah. You make some good right. points about women not being yeah. able to vote, yeah. actually. Uh, we can meet you in the middle. You know, it's like every everything is bad, Pierce. <laughs> And I couldn't really believe what I was watching. I didn't know why. Why did you find it funny? Uh huh? <laughs> God, she's no. so every time. You're crushing it, girl. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> and I couldn't really believe what I was watching. I didn't know. Dude, he's why, here to why, murder did you find, her. You find it funny? Uh huh? Did you find you find it funny? Uh huh? I mean, you know the backlash to it. I mean, you, you deleted it. Did you obviously it. thought you shouldn't have posted it. Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? Genuine oh. question. <laughs> I mean, the point was more about cancel culture and people getting. Uh, it's a song about cancel culture song. Yeah, why did we cancel Hitler <laughs> okay. when he was right? That's the song. <laughs> All I'm saying is maybe we should look into what yeah. he was saying. Maybe it wasn't so bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just wants to Stop know us. why. When did she you... hits it with the why, it's so ridiculous. Here is the lyrics to um. The Michael Jackson song, Kick Me. Oh my God, it's in the title? No. Okay, I, uh, no, just... I've been looking through the Keemstar podcast to see if he says, okay, Ethan, at any point. And so I haven't been hearing the show and I just look up and see Michael Jackson lyrics. What did I miss? <laughs> <laughs> so I was just talking about how in this song. They don't called, care about us. Yeah, he drops some really eyebrow raising language. He says, beat me, hate me, you can never break me. Will me, thrill me, you can never kill me. Jew me, sue me, everybody do me. I don't, I think he's using it in the derogatory <laughs> way. Oh. Kick me, I don't even know if I could say that word. It's the K word. That me, don't you black or white me. Like, is there any way to interpret this where he's not just using it in Kick. the derogatory sense? Kick. Well, there's a genius annotation that tries to explain it. The line generated a lot of controversy, but MJ did not mean it as an anti-Semitic remark. In the song, Michael is speaking from the point of view of everyone who's ever been persecuted, for example, for being Jewish or black. But uh, with this line and the previous line, Jew me, MJ is trying to get the point across that people can label or throw whatever abuse they want at social minorities, but he will stand up and speak out against their hate. <laughs> I see that. I see that, but I also am having a hard time with the way it's phrased here. Giving, I am Jewish. I, I agree with you, Ethan. Like, I... I, I <laughs> it's, it's just, weird. it says, Jew me, sue me, everybody do me. Because this is the perspective from the person who's oppressed. They're saying, you can beat me, you can hate me, you can never break me. Exactly. You can will me, thrill me, you can never kill me. And then the oppressed person is saying, you can Jew me, you can sue me, Everybody do me. The, the oppressed person is saying, uh, you can Jew me, but I'll survive. Right, but then in the next line flips it and is speaking as if Kick they me. are a Jewish person who is right. being, having slurs hurled at okay, them. Okay, I can see that. K-word me. Kick me, K-word me. Or maybe he just really he wanted to double down on the <laughs> Jew me part. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Michael. I get the point, though. It's a beautiful message, right? 
All I got to say is they don't really care about us. They don't. That's right. <laughs> the bell is so funny. They sure don't. Back to Pearl. Social media, if you finish the song, mm. it was more about, like, you can't talk about this topic <laughs> without being canceled by the left and the right. I don't really... Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a song about council culture. Literally, why can't we just talk about were the numbers greatly exaggerated and hit, was Hitler a good guy without being canceled? Mm -hmm. Awesome <laughs> point, girl. Why can't I just talk about how I believe we should go back to uh, 1800s and enslave uh, African Americans again without being canceled? It's about cancer culture. <laughs> so stupid. And also just like two or three years behind the curve on the, like a cancel culture. Like <laughs> the, nobody else on the right is bitching about cancel culture anymore. Like they've moved on. Remember there's when that, they were like obsessed? Now. Yeah, there's other stuff. Move to be on, upset girl. About. Woke. We moved on to woke. Well, we don't care about cancel culture. In fact, we love canceling things now. We're canceling Bud Light. We're canceling Target. We're canceling anything that pisses us off. So cancel culture is actually good. I think she's just scrambling. Yeah, I mean, she's an idiot. So, yeah. Oh, uh, AB is bringing out the Michael receipts uh, in defense of, of uh, his dear, dear. <laughs> I, I, I'm kidding, AB. I I'm going to read it. Michael, Michael said in an interview... The idea that these lyrics could be deemed objectionable is extremely hurtful to me and misleading. The song is, in fact, about the pain and prejudice and hate as a way to draw attention to social and political problems. I am the voice of the accused and the attacked. Ooh. So the voice of uh, some other. So. <laughs> Moving on. I am the voice of everyone. I am the skinhead. I am the Jew. Well, why? Okay. <laughs> you are the skinhead? I am Jewish. Are skinhead Jewish. famously oppressed? He says, I'm a skinhead. I'm a Jew. I'm Jewish. a black man. I'm a white man. I'm gay. What year was this written in? <laughs> oh, he says, I'm the voice of the accused. 95? Yeah, I don't know. Because, like, I, yeah. I what get into year it, but. is he, it? He, I'm glad he's representing the skinheads. Hmm. <laughs> I am not the one who was attacking. It was about the injustice to young people and how the system wrongfully accused them. I am angry and outraged that I could be so misinterpreted. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy because people think you raped kids, but that's also, you didn't do that. So that's a huge misunderstanding. That's that was crazy. even a bigger misunderstanding, frankly. That's crazy. <laughs> Ow! Come on, man! Woo! <laughs> Inappropriate. All right. Oh shit! No, I didn't want to finish that. Control T. Does it work? Oh, it Welcome does back work. to Pizzle and Sir Paul Davis is. But, uh, oh, Davis is. And for the record, I sent that before Dan read the explanation and the, the lyrics. No, it, it was good. It to was get good. Additional, it was good. Yeah, that him directly. I, I'm, being, I'm being silly. I appreciated it. I appreciated it. You find you find it funny? I mean, you know the backlash. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, what? Uh, well, it was more like, why can't we talk about it? It, it wasn't like... You're talking about more the conspiracy other... theories you've heard about Hitler wow. and the Holocaust, I'm, presumably. I'm a fan of conspiracy theory. Like, you know, people think I'm part of the CIA. There's a <laughs> whole know. conspiracy thing online. And, you know... Nobody believes that. Uh, she said that's so crazy. Ugh. Nobody believes that. I'm not for, like, silencing it either way. The point of the song isn't... Like, I really have an opinion on the matter. It's more, I don't think we should ban Just people off questions. of social media. So far Nice try, dummy. Let's see if Pierce Morgan can actually, like, pin her on this. Because she's obviously lying. Or so. That I don't even, like, I think it should be illegal to ban anybody Shut off of up, social bitch. media. <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow that. I'll allow it. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Unless they are inciting violence. That was the point of the song. I mean... You're pretty close. In yeah, a it is. we're getting there. I'm pretty Isn't close. That, getting there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not really. It, it was more like tongue in cheek. But just to be clear, what are the conspiracy theories surrounding Hitler, which you feel I the more you hear them, the more well, you're interested in them? Well, I don't know. Good question. Good question. Yeah, we, we need to pin her down. It annoys me how good Pierce is at this sometimes. Like, I don't like him. I don't like his opinions, but we talked about this before because he occasionally does this. He'll have even shittier people than him on his show, and he genuinely is good at pinning them uh, on their bullshit. 
Um, I think UK. But I don't want to like him. <laughs> UK journalists are like, think about when Ben Shapiro lost his mind, and he was being grilled by like a very conservative UK person. That's out. true. Yeah. Yeah. The I, UK press is way more harsh than America. Not even harsh, competent. It's like let's get right, let's actually like, get actually people to talk about asking. something in a genuine way. Right. Oh, because I can't hear them. Huh? <laughs> I don't well, you know, know the ones. You know the ones that Nick went to. Well, I wasn't even talking about Nick. I was thinking of Ye, to be honest. I don't know why. Okay, they what about the ones Ye said? Nick was the inspiration for that song. I was thinking of Ye. Okay, yeah. go uh, on. You are aware of the big backlash to this. I'm so, just, so Pierce, as if those he are lost like distinct the things. They were working together. They, <laughs> Pierce just missed a huge opportunity. He's letting her go with this bullshit. Love. What I would have said is, okay, what about Ye then? What is the conspiracy theories that you find interesting? <laughs> uh, McMahon is a line. They are force a line. her to explain. She likes uh, Co um, Connie's version of anti-Semitism more than Nick. Yeah, he, the, yeah, yeah, different variety. Even though <laughs> I think they subscribe to the same uh, Elders of Zion. <laughs> right. They check that same book out at the yeah. library. Deep upset from I, the Jewish community. I certainly am now. I just posted that song and I woke up and I was like, Article, article, article. I was like, golly. Right, but are you sorry? Gee, golly Gee, whiz. Golly. The Jews are really angry at me. Question, you know, poke around the Jewish question a little bit. <laughs> Gee, golly. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's jumping down your throat. These Jews are sure sensitive. I go volt, Pierce. Oh, I go volt. Crazy. Um, you know, I, I think that, like, what it, my whole point was that cancel culture is wrong. I am not speaking Damn, one way or brave. the other about the- Dude, just be like, okay, where did you mention, which part of the song exemplifies that? Because from what I saw, it's just you talking about Jewish people. I mean, if she you, does say, my, why can't you talk about the Jews without getting kicked off YouTube? That is the beginning of it. So, so why can't you talk about the Jews without getting, getting kicked, kicked off, off YouTube? YouTube? Right. And then she right. goes on to for the Hitler line. So people so should be an able element to, of their. That so you say there. okay, so people should be able to talk about the Jews without being kicked kicked off YouTube. Correct. So what is it that you think exactly they should be able to say? Right. That they're getting kicked off that they shouldn't be. And why why it doesn't really matter? Like she's deflecting, being like it's about cancel culture, but Pierce is correctly not focusing on the first line. He's focusing on the follow up of the more conspiracies I read about Jews, the more I believe them. That's not about cancel culture. Well, that's not. She's not even talking about cancel. She, that's a, just another conspiracy that like you can't talk about the Jews because they own everything and they'll shut you down. Right. It's not really about that. My question is. Someone said screen is frozen. Is that just them? I think video is frozen. Oh, I'm seeing video screen. Yeah, everybody's saying it now. Seems. Hit play again. Why are we canceled about talk Fine. for talking about hmm. certain topics? You would allow Holocaust deniers to have space on social media to promote as as Holocaust denial to millions of people. You good, have good, two good. million people who subscribe mm -hmm. to your YouTube. Let her right? answer. Mm -hmm. That's a big audience. Well, no, don't don't end the question there by tacking on. You're giving her an opportunity not to answer it. I'm not at two million yet. I'd like to be. Right, but you have a lot of people that follow you on there. He just gave so her a total pass on that good question. Social media platform. Yeah. You put a video like that up, and there are going to be some impressionable young minds going, hang on, what's Pearl saying? Adolf Hitler, he, he, not saying he's a good guy, but I want to know why. The more conspiracies I, I, theories I hear, the more I have to think about it. But I took that to mean I took that to mean that you agree with well, but, Fuente, but why, like did, that. why did you cut off the end of the end of the song? Should we watch the end? Uh, I'm sure sh it's all like, I'm just kidding. Fuck Hitler. Love the Jews. <laughs> Good people. <laughs> the numbers underreported. <laughs> if anything. <laughs> like, let's check out the end of that song. Let's see. Uh, well, said, she deleted the tweet, and it's, de I, it's I, definitely. I, it's it's up there. You can't no even have is. the conversation. What is the conversation without, you want to without have without being canceled by the, the left and the right? But what the is point the, is the any pearl. speech. No, no, I think it's not any, any speech. speech. It's not any speech. What is the conversation about Hitler? Thank you. And conspiracy theories and the Holocaust that you want to have. I Thank you. don't want to have any conversation. My lane is feminism. Then That's what are you what talking you're about? about Adolf Hitler? Can I, can I, can I finish? Yeah, but you are singing about okay, Hitler. Okay, okay. So you do want to have that conversation. I want yes. anybody that wants to speak on social media to be able to speak about what they want to talk Including about. Holocaust. When's the Goldstein coming to drop the hammer? Okay, here is a... 
Let's see how let's see how this song wow. ends in a really in, uh, inspiring. Wait, it says dedicated to Nick Fuentes? That, that wasn't on the original video. Okay. This is somebody who's, you know, tracking. And Can you bring up the disclaimer, please? Thank you. Without getting kicked off of you. Wait, is this? I is just, it? Oh, you skipped to the end. Yeah. Oh, it shows him, she, like, reacting to it. She said, listen to the end. I think it's, just... It's all just Nick? This might be two videos together. Yes, exactly. I, if you scrub back to the... Huh? Yeah, that's now it's not playing. Okay, all right. Are Thank we you. over it? I'm not. I just need to figure out Why? what the fuck's going on. Pearl dropped the track. Okay. Why? Now there's all these conspiracy theories. Yeah. And the more they talk, I think mm. maybe they're right. Okay, that's a pretty, pretty editorial comment. Mm -hmm. Honestly, expressing her opinion. Really, really bad. Compared to the stuff worse. Yeah, yeah that's worse. worse like she's saying I believe this. Yeah This is she literally was just like this isn't about cancel culture. I just don't like Jews <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it have been funny if Pierce was like, okay, let's finish it. That's it. That's what I would have loved, you know I believe it But I can't even listen to the convo I can't even have the conversation Without getting canceled by the left and the right why can't we talk about the so, without getting this is the part that changes you too. This is the part that changes the meaning. Now really I'm not trying to be rude. Okay. Oh you're good then. Why can't we talk about talk about Yeah. No, she's right, man. There you go, yeah. No, that I'm glad I got more context on that. Bob Dylan, more like Bob Felon. Mm -hmm. Not that good. Also, another Jew. Not anymore. He's a newborn. Did you know that? He jumps sides. <sighs> I think, I guess I did know that, yeah. He got kind of weird in his older years. He was always weird. Got really a lot weirder. <laughs> <laughs> weird fucking dude. <laughs> Without denial. getting banned, whatever they want to talk about. Including Holocaust denial. If they want to talk about that, as long as they're not inciting violence, I think people. Also inciting I mean, violence. Look, yes. look at, look at. I think that Jewish people. Social, look at social media. Do you know what Hitler was like about? Do you know what his like thesis was? You should look into that. If you don't think it's about that. It's the new town square. Right? You used to be able to go and say your opinions in the town square. Mm. Now we have... Yeah, it used to be you go in the town square, say some dumb shit, and somebody would shoot you or fucking, like, mob you. Yeah, what is this fantasy, like, that there was a period in history where, on a daily basis, everybody just went down to the town square the town and just square. had open discussion. Get on down to the town Respectful square. Respectful open discussion. Pearl's talking. Like, th that maybe happened every once in a blue moon, I guess. How many somewhere. people do you think fit in the town square? But, like, this was not, this was not a, a regular thing. Mm. Go Try going to the town square talking shit on the king and see what happens. <laughs> Your head try, be on a pike real fast. Try that in a small town. The town That's square. Right. That's right. I tell you what, boy, I got a couple floorboards with your name on them. I'm not going to go there, don't worry. Corporations censoring what can and cannot be said. All right, shut up, dummy. Where's the Goldberg? I want to see her come in. Oh, here she is. <laughs> Where's the Goldberg? I don't think Pearl quite understands why the word Here comes of the, the Hebrew song, hammer. Which she deleted, to be clear. So obviously realized this had not played out maybe the way she hoped. Um, the offense Look at her. She's caused so, to the Jewish community. Why was so it so armed. offensive? Well, first of all, I want to thank you uh, for having me on and for highlighting this issue. Yes. Not necessarily highlighting Pearl, but highlighting the issue that what you pointed out is that we're really facing a crisis of yes. societal conscience. <laughs> where how someone dumb like she looks. Pearl, who engages in hate speech, and actually the irony is yes. she's complaining about being canceled, right. and yet she's on your platform. She has millions of viewers okay. on the I'm internet. That's actually a good point. Right, that's always a good point. 
Mm -hmm. Always a good point. Internet and on social media, and she's complaining about being canceled. The Dummy. crisis is that Owned. this is what is profitable now. This clickbait, this type of racial incitement is profitable on the internet. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm sitting here, I'm listening to Pearl. I, I don't know if she's just plain stupid. Or All right, oh, whatever. It's hot cooking. Yeah, she was really cooking. <laughs> you want me to keep going? I'm afraid I we're mean, gonna get claimed or something. Uh, well, we yeah. checked it; it didn't get claimed. Oh, let's give her. Um, uh, let's, let's give her a chance. Intelligent and knows that what she's doing is so sensational that it's going to make her a lot of money. But I want to say one thing: Pearl will disappear. She mm -hmm. will disappear, like many others before her, because this is something that's well, just. And by the by, the quality of man she's looking to marry, he's going to make her disappear. <laughs> Real men beat their wives close to death. A moment in time. She's like a train wreck. It's like a <laughs> car crash. You know, for example, you can't, you know you shouldn't be looking at it, but you can't take your eyes off it. But I, I want to make one more point. I think it's so important, uh, especially on this platform. Hatred is taught. Nobody is born like this. And I talk about Nobody's it a lot born in my like book. Nobody's born like this dumb the, bitch here. <laughs> <laughs> That's learned. Yeah dangers of hate education and it's not something that we can debate that we can engage in a rational argument with you can see what her opinions are she thinks women shouldn't vote women shouldn't Based. have the right to divorce she Based. thinks that women should be able to oh. Oh. it's giving xqc's calling me gray hair andy oh. it's like dude you're on piers morgan you sound like a fucking idiot Actually, so dumb. She has a friend backstage, I guess, who she keeps looking to for, um, for, uh, validation. God, she's pathetic. I want to watch that again. That Sad. Plain oh, please, stupid? No. Or she's actually quite intelligent and knows that what she's doing is so sensational that it's going to make her a lot of money. But I want to say one thing. Pearl will disappear. She We're will back disappear, too far. like many others before her. It, you shouldn't be looking at it, but you can't take your eyes off it. But I, I, I want to so make far? one more point. I think it's so important, sure. uh, especially on this platform. Hatred is taught. Nobody is born like this. And I talk about it a lot in my book about the dangers of hate education. And it's not something that we can debate, that we can engage in a rational argument with. You can see what her opinions are. She thinks women shouldn't vote. Women shouldn't Based. have the right to divorce. She Based. thinks that women Based. shouldn't be able to yes. work. She says these no, I didn't say crazy that. God, she's such a fucking loser. How did she look? How did she look at herself in the mirror? Like nobody likes you, right. not even the people on the right. Like you are, you're just like such a worthless sack of shit. <laughs> I mean, literally, people say this, but it's true in this case. A waste of oxygen. I like. Does she have feelings? I feel like for self preservation reasons, even because everybody hates her so much, you'd think that she would be like, okay, maybe let me. Let me settle down and pick a side, I guess. But she's like alienating everybody because she sucks so much. Hopefully this comes back on her family too. Cause clearly they're she's still living with Papa. Down Crazy. on Papa's ranch. No, she doesn't anymore, right? I think she, she lives in the UK. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No yeah. no more Papa's ranch. I think she did I, maybe it she got until recently. Out. She had to fucking leave the country. Yeah, we have no idea. We have no idea. What that situation? My but. my pappy owns a ranch called Hitler Was Right Ranch. It's closer to Tate, maybe. We like to come have people down, teach them about how Hitler was right. Not anti-Semitic about it. <laughs> Just saying. She's literally like constantly embarrassing herself. It's. Yeah. <laughs> what else Yikes. we got? What else we got? Not a lot. Oh, the guy, the sniffer? Ooh. M Michaela Witter, the sniffer? I thought you were going to say sniffer wolf, because we have the sniper wolf. Sniffer wolf? <laughs> uh, oh, no, this is the girl. I was going to say, let's not put that on uh So this is this the girl who, I guess, caught, now, did, my question is, here, let me, let me watch her TikToks, because it seemed like she set this up on purpose. No, she caught it. When she was taking a TikTok. 
Oh, yeah. that's crazy. Because I was wondering why she was filming. She was making like one of those artsy TikToks. Oh. Like Ela did one in a bookstore. Because I was also like, why are you just looking at the first page over and over again? Yeah, right. if, the, if you click on the original TikTok, she has all the footage of like the TikTok she was making until Yo, it happens. Oh, that's crazy. so creepy. Hi, everyone. So I just wanted to talk about the situation with the creepy guy from Barnes & Noble and just touch Ooh. base on some things. Click on the first, first thank one. you so much. How for come this the... is... Is this not... The Where? first one in the series? The original. Because this, where's the original one? Wait. 1A in. Um... Yeah. 1A. Oh. It's not on the timeline. Stay 20 of 100 Days of Silidates, and today are. Oh, so it's this one. She did it as part of a. Yeah. Day 20 of 100 of Days of Silidates, and today we're going yeah. to Barnes and & Noble and getting Starbucks. That, that didn't get the main thrust of the video? Except I ended up being stalked and oh, violated did. the entire time. So I get to Barnes & Noble and get my Starbucks. I'm super excited to look at books, but this is the area that it started. I was in this corner for a while, and I noticed a guy was staring at me through that little hole. And I couldn't tell if I was being paranoid or Dude, if he was Dude, he was looking at her through a, a fucking, and... like, through the bookshelf meme? Yep. No. That's so creepy. And he just happened to be in that little corner. Anyways, it felt like anywhere I moved, he kept following me. So I recorded just in case he was trying to say anything or do anything to me. But I definitely didn't <sighs> expect him to do that. Aiden Ross, eat your heart out, brother. This is Aiden Ross when it's just him and Andrew. Andrew's like cooking. Oh, yeah. Aiden's creeping around trying to sniff mm. his ass. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. This guy's a freak, though. I guess trigger warning if Insane. this makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. And I mean, it will. This? Like what? Trigger yeah. warning, ass sniffing. Literally. <laughs> Actual fuck. And the whole time I'm thinking I'm fine because he hasn't said anything or touched me or anything. But then you notice that he goes over and does the same thing to this girl. Oh shit, he's doing numbers. And yeah. pretend like Dude, he's bouncing between girls. No way. People responded to this that he's like known in the area. People know that he does this. He's a local sniffer. Yeah, his numbers are crazy. How he just he hit both of them in a matter of like fifteen seconds. Boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. He does man. this often. He's very. He's exactly. He's very proficient. Ass sniffer. He's doing something and then smell. I don't know. And the whole time I'm wondering why he's always around me. But this was our interaction. <laughs> what are you doing? Tying my shoe. Mm -hmm. I was so freaked out when I just tying my shoe under you turned around and saw him literally under me so freaking close to me so I decided to tell the front desk oh good yeah she filed a police report good and he's like pretending like he's tying shoes and I think he's like people. Maybe like around there. This comment from Nick says, bro, that's the same guy who was crouching behind me and following me in Marshalls today. I believe it. Stay seven of leveling oh, up my shit. life and becoming an <laughs> Stay 20 of 100 days of silidates and today we're going me. to bar you was just tell and then I try to walk to my car as fast as possible because I don't want to run into him. So I'm leaving now, but I just watched the video back because I was trying to figure out what he was doing so close to me. And it freaked, like, I'm so disgusted and I feel like really violated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He didn't touch me, but it just feels really gross and weird. And then I went up to the front to tell the lady because I didn't want him to do that to other people. And then as I was telling her, he was leaving. And so all she said that she could do was just tell the manager. I waited around a little bit because I didn't want to run into him. And I couldn't even focus. Like, I wanted to get a book, but then I was just, like, my anxiety was just, like, really bad. And, like, also, I just felt, like, really grossed out. So I just left as soon as I could. That's literally, like, so creepy. I've never had someone do that to me. It's just really weird. <sighs> Uh, the good news is, at least in this one, she has his full name and puts it out. Let's yes. see. Where where was that where I saw the full name out? It's in that TikTok. It's she's responding to a comment that says his name and um. Oh here. And we go. also here, like the city of Glendale has released. Oh God, he's in L. A. Yeah. Oh no. This is Glendale. Baby. Oh shit! He could be We're sniffing any one of our asses. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> So yeah, this His guy has a ton. There, yeah. Yuck. 
Does it say what he was charged for? Let's see. This one says prowling, looking in windows. Yeah, I read this before. Peeping, prowling. Uh, again, Owl. prowling, looking in bedroom windows. Uh, and then again in September, was looking in kitchen windows. Again, he's like peeping Tom. He's identified again. They had a warrant for him in 2021. They arrested him for prowling and disorderly conduct. Remains in custody. But, so he's out, clearly. Right, this was 2021. He's out and back sni- He's, he's actually, he's, he's upgraded. Yeah. He's not prowling anymore, he's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's up. He's up. He's up. Actually, this dude is probably dangerous, like really yes. dangerous, because I've watched enough true crime to know that it starts with prowling, it goes to sniffing, and then it goes to yep. gotcha. physical violence. The end of that warning is like, everybody in the community, please like make sure to stay safe. It's like, Murder it's a porn. warning. Yeah, this guy's a, everybody in LA, look out for this motherfucker. Yeah. He's got Martian ears. You know, like Looney Tunes, how they stick out and they're... Looks like Shrek. Shrek ears. Oh. Yeah. Shrek is looking for some sniffs. Wow. They do kind of look like Shrek ears. Uh, what a fucking freak. Yeah. I had something similar happen to me in college, actually. Oh my god. A sniffer? Wait, no, what? No, not a sniffer, but it was in the library. And I noticed this guy kept following me around and taking photos of me on his phone. And the first few times, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'd walk to a different area of the library. And then there he pops up again and just kept taking photos of me. I, I was so I was gross. trying to take a picture of something behind you. You just happened to be in the photos. <laughs> 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 and uh, this story has a happy ending, actually. <laughs> oh, that was good. No, it wasn't Navy, you. but I did. I went to the security <laughs> office and I reported him. And then the security guard um, walked me to my class, and that's it. That's horrifying. I don't know what happened with him or if they did anything, but... Oof. That's so fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. God. Weirdo, bro. You're weirdo. weirdo, bro. <sighs> Wait, where'd the sound go? Uh, muted in the, the little icon in the corner, maybe? I didn't do nothing. TikTok on PC, man. It's the best. You're muted. I'm muted. Refresh. That's right, refreshing. It's muted. It's not muted here. It's not muted on my laptop. Not muted on. Oh! It works now. Okay. What did, wait, what happened? Somebody did something. I, I didn't touch shit. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, she got pictures? Damn. Yeah, Slick. she took that video. She has oh yeah, right, right. I got uh, yeah, his ass is on. Yeah. Hello. Oh, and he did it to another girl as well. So, and I have footage of it um, and like screenshots if you wanted to take it to so make sure that he doesn't come back. <laughs> yeah. People are saying that they recognize him. And this is exactly what I was <laughs> talking about. All right. <laughs> it's really well done. Marshals and urban And you're in my swamp. In this area a lot. Yeah. So we'll forward it on to the mall. Well, my uh, regards, uh, my condolences to these poor ladies that have to deal with these freaks, like Aiden Ross. For real. <laughs> and this guy, incidentally, as right, well. Right, yeah. Oh, no, he's in L.A. But the streets yeah. of Glendale. <coughs> Watch. Look Stay out. safe, yeah. Look out in Glendale. Um, she followed, uh, she did file a police report. Is this the one? Yeah, I think I, I was just watching? You got it. Okay. You got it. There it is. There it is. There's an ass sniffer on the loose. Actually, we still have like 20 minutes, so let's do the Sniper Wolf Darman collab. Yes. So, Sniper Wolf is actually being called out big time. Same as XQC. You, well, you guys know what Jack's film's been up to. Really clever stuff. Actually, okay. let me check in on him. Um, Jacket off. Because last I checked, his channel was doing really good. Sniper. 
Sniper Wolf. Uh, where's his second? J. J. Jack's films. Here it is. Bugs in Mexico. So let's check it. Dude, the views are good. Sniper, take like, it down. Like legitimately, like 300,000 on a daily post. That's, that's really Allie's good. Allie's been watching these. So check it out. In a rotation. Oh, right. If you're familiar with Sniper Wolf Bingo, you know that all the usual suspects are here, right? Like, oh no, and the fake laugh. But I want to add more squares. This is my card that I'll be playing. Dude, Jack is out for blood. It's awesome. Check I've never seen him like so this before. This is my shtick, usually. <laughs> it's good. Oh, this has some of the spots that we added, but not all of them. It's people who let the intrusive thoughts win, whatever that means. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I think they're on. Okay. Oh, it's so rare. But we have TikTok user Navy <laughs> Enjoyer. Whoa. Triggering my shaky cam. Hold on. Is Navy Enjoyer a freebooter? We got to look at the account. Jarvis, open TikTok for me. It's hard to tell. <laughs> it's very hard to tell if this but is a... It's, it's actually quite entertaining. I have to say, I'm subbed. As of right now, this isn't my main account. So just uh, throw away. But um, that's pretty exciting for him. I'm glad this is this is awesome. But anyway, Sniper Wolf, uh, who I guess is another prolific content thief. Although I'll I'll be honest, I don't even think it's as bad as XQCs because at least at least you can say. She at least filmed this and assembled it, where XQC literally just cuts a piece from Twitch and uploads it to YouTube. And she Our talks parents, a lot more than, than XQC does. Do the Avengers. They literally got Do I think this is transformative? Hell no. I mean... But I think it's more gray. It's definitely more gray. And yeah, yeah it, it, her commentary may be shit, but that, I mean, that's... that's uh, Well, her... Well, so her commentary. There's no requirement off, that the commentary be good for it to be transformative. You know what I mean? It's not that it needs to be good. It needs to be critical, right? Or not even in the sense that it's like analyzing. Yeah, analytical. Yeah. I mean, critical. she analyzes it. She, oh, they let the intrusive thoughts yeah, win cool house in this on one. TikTok. And <laughs> I, I, lisp. Like I said, this one, this one, you could definitely like have a conversation about. Right. I don't think it is, but like, but XQCs, there's no conversation to have about it. The bed in the corner. Okay, Trinity. that's fire, actually. That's dope. Your side, and then it'll like actually feel like you're falling. I mean, she's talking at least and putting it together, you know, so it's not as bad as XQC, in my opinion. That being said, the infamous um, Sniper Wolf, my best friend Stella, is more happy y'all were going to be live today than their birthday. Thank you guys for getting them through high school. They're 18 today. Got to share the live. Hmm. What are we doing about this, Zach? It was a $200 donation. 18. 18. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, you already so broke back. the... We were... We no, 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 we no, no. Uh, that was a big... That was a big... For dumb. the right amount of money. <laughs> Love is Come always, on. Yeah. I'm no, sorry. No, no, It's no. stick. Okay, well... But it was a big donation. Happy so I birthday, like I, Stella. I felt obligated to send it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Bucks. Yeah. God bless. You got it. That. You got the, the coveted birthday shout out. Yeah. Shout out. So Sniper Wolf uh, teamed up with Darman. We've talked about Darman. He has a very popular YouTube channel where he makes a very uh, pseudo inspirational videos. And then but what's interesting is he also has like a criminal past. We uncovered. He is like did like some pretty heavy duty real estate fraud, right? And I don't want to speak out of turn. I, make I that don't know if you should be saying. No, we. Said, I don't remember. I just don't remember the details. According so. to the Mercury yeah. News, um, oh my God, they just gave me a goddamn ad. No, that here it is. Here it is. A Darman sentenced to five years of probation for defending the city of Oakland, defrauding the Oakland city. So this is your boy Darman here. This happened. According to the Mercury News. That's not fraud. And I always find this endlessly inter uh, interesting. An Oakland businessman whose work in marijuana industry earned him the moniker Ganja Panur. Nice. Has been sentenced to five years probation for pocketing city grant money meant to, for building improvements. What Oops. a guy. What a guy. What a guy. He also must pay the city of Oakland $44,000. He pleaded no contest to five felonies. He's like, you got me. 
Authorities say that man made phony claims to an Oakland redevelopment agency grant program in place to help property owners make needed res- uh, renovations. He's being sued by the city for 230000 with 135000 in damages. Well, you can afford that by now with this YouTube channel you're doing. But regardless, it is, oh, well, this is 2014. It is interesting that Mr. Moralistic, uh, he's just trying to make the world a better place. Mm, not trying to make Oakland a better place, tell you that. Anyway, here's his, the video he made with Sniper Wolf. I heard this was fantastic. I haven't seen it yet. One of a few of them. They did a few collabs. All right. This is your baby, right, AB? I'm, I love these videos more than anything. Okay. What'd you get for number 23? I'm not there yet. Heather. Right Actually, now, I want to watch the um, original because I want to see the comments. I want to see how... Uh, Wait, what? Original? What do you mean by original? Oh, we don't. Ha- it's not on YouTube anymore. Oh, it is. Here oh, it, it is. is. Yeah. My bad. My bad. There we Here it is. Let's see. Eleven million views from eleven months ago. This was. This is big. It was nineteen million. What did I say? Eleven. I saw nineteen. <laughs> oh, it's eleven, the 11 months. You saw the eleven months and it tripped you up. Nineteen million views eleven months ago. Mean girls shame teen for anime. That's not okay, man. That's not okay. Heather, Raina, can you stop talking until everyone's finished? I thought we, we, (laughs) although, uh, I thought that we were okay with shaming um, fans of anime. I thought that was socially norm. Social norm. (laughs) Sure. There's a Chanel bag just sitting on her desk. Darman's a progressive. (laughs) Like, what the fuck? That's a good ass question. What kind of high school girl is this? I need to step out for a minute. Finish your worksheets and I'll be right back. Stupid ass. Teachers teacher. the same age as all the students. She's a dumbass. Walked out during the What'd test. What'd you get for number 23? Anime loser, idiot. Heather. What the? What? Oh is my this? God. Wait Weep. a second. <laughs> oh no, bro. Burn! Yo! Loser! Loser, dude. But a lot of the, these premises are like so far from anything that would ever happen. <laughs> is this Chase? <laughs> That's private. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's totally him. Mm. He even has the same jacket. Give it back. What? <laughs> Who's drawing her crush? Hey, Chase. Looks like you got yourself a little sucker. Hold the fucking phone. Let me go back to the drawing. Yeah, that wasn't the same guy. What the fuck? <laughs> it would look like a generic anime guy. Yeah. <laughs> huh? That's totally... Ge- oh, it says wow. Chase. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, well. Otherwise. I guess she, she made the inference from the giant Chase. Caught ya. We got Wait. you. Is this me as a anime character? Why the fuck would you do that to me? He's good. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, Mia's totally in love with you. No, I'm Ooh. not. Well, that's I kind of sweet. I was just maybe he feels the same. Drawing characters for my series. He's looking at her like, oh, she You're got that demon hunter swag on. What an idiot loser! She's wearing a demon hunter shirt. What now? Demon Slayer. It's for an this guy's acting like he just found a drawing of him getting like, like <laughs> sexually abused. His b- corpse like mutilated. Why are you drawing I this? Was just it's like so disturbed. Characters for my series. I think You're the twist. I think Chase is into it. I think he's flattered. And he's too shy to say. I hope that's the twist. Price. Are you serious? Ugh, just when I thought you couldn't get any weirder. Anime isn't weird. Even if <laughs> you're like 26 in high school. Ariana Grande, <laughs> Kanye West, <laughs> Sniper Wolf, and what? Okay. No. <laughs> what? You think they're ever gonna care about your dumb little drawings? Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully everyone had a chance to finish. Pass them up to the front, please. Oh, and a quick reminder that Friday is career day, so you will want to dress up as whatever you want to be. Lawyers, doctors, astronauts. Sniper Wolf's going to come on career day? Is that what's happening? <laughs> uh, maybe. That's you a have... nightmare. Mm-hmm. I think I've, I, I'm making a prediction here. I don't know if Sniper Wolf is actually going to be like a corporeal. I think she's going to be like the spirit of Sniper Wolf comes to uh, encourage this young woman like a to pursue ghost? her dreams. Yeah, kind of like a force ghost, yeah. yeah. But she's playing herself. Yeah. Yeah, no, I Not think like, she'll be in it, but I'm just saying yeah. within the 
story world. I don't think. Why the fuck would you have a Twitch? Well, I guess she's a YouTuber now. Can you imagine uh, me getting, uh, you know, invited for career day? Like, listen, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nobody. Whatever your dream job is, and then you'll give a brief presentation to the rest of the class. I bet Mia's dressing up as Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, something funny back there? Yeah, excuse me, Miss Cran. What if you don't plan on working? Well, you have to choose something. Anything. You could be a philanthropist. If you don't plan on working. Home. Like I would ever do that to myself. Serve. Never mind. Figure something out. <laughs> you better figure don't something out, because your ass is basically about to join the workforce. You're pushing 30. <laughs> Chase, <laughs> so hot. I love that she said, "I'll never stoop to something as low as a as a stay at home mom." Yeah, <laughs> it's like I'm I'm literally just gonna exist in a sensory deprivation. <laughs> I'm just gonna do nothing. Uh, I'm gonna sit at home in the dark, stare at the wall forever. <laughs> Yo, can I tell never you something? Mind. Figure something out. Watch this. Chase is so hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, What's up. Stop. Stop. Stop, Chase. Uh, is Mia legit still drawing her anime? Okay, why does she have I've a headset an on? Get your phone out. She's ready to why game at any do? moment. <laughs> let's let's hear these mean girls for out good. for a second. <laughs> hmm. Record me, but start Maybe she is kind of a loser. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's... Uh, <laughs> Who is she talking to right Wait, now? Wait, may, may, are we siding with the bullies at this I don't moment? Know, I as mean, of right now. the headset at, at, in the cafeteria. Get it together, a, girl. Dude, Bit if much. you're watching anime, keep it a secret like the rest of us do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, loser. Thanks for the sandwich. Hey, that's my lunch. Me. Ugh, you can keep it. <laughs> How old does that mean? <laughs> no, my mom got it from Walmart. Poor! Poor! <laughs> <laughs> that's old meat! You got any fresh meat? <laughs> <laughs> Say Joe Exotic meat. <laughs> She doesn't have a Chanel bag like uh, our girl over here. Ew. She Thank just has hair. Trees at Walmart. Gross. Ew. What are you wasting your time on now? If you don't have anything nice to say, can you please leave me alone? I need to finish this for the contest. <laughs> you really don't think this is going to make you any money, do you? I mean, it might someday. You really do live in your fantasy world. <laughs> you know, if I were you, I'd start practicing taking coffee orders now. Mm -hmm. So that's all you're going to end up doing if you stay on this track. Crazy. Oh, she line. she she cares about her future. Yeah. That's very nice. Very thoughtful. Honestly. Counseling her. Kind yeah, of. guidance counselor. <laughs> hmm. She's old to be. Stop taking my stuff. Dumb. 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 Stay out of this. What? What is Like she's Voldemort or something. Or you're next. Me. That's fuck? you. What's up I now? Needed a villain. Oh, Ooh. it's on now. She looks pretty though. Start recording, oh. bitch. If that's how it's gonna be, don't do it. I might as well embrace the part. Don't, don't do it. it. Don't rip it. Don't rip it. No. no. <laughs> no. Yes, that's my girl. I needed these for the contest. Serves you right for drawing people without their permission. <laughs> and besides, anime is a total waste of time. No I love how they made her look like she didn't shower and fucking... <laughs> like, look how crazy she looks. Her hair is all crazy. Looks Hair's like they oiled crazy. her hair or something, right? <laughs> gamer hair. Yeah, I mean, she's fucking That's losing. gamer hair right there, yeah, boy. Gamer dead. <laughs> Probably I think, you know who I think doesn't like anime people? Crumb. Dar Man. Yeah. 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 We don't all look fake like weave. this. The fake weave. <laughs> she looks fine. She been she looks some... fine. <laughs> she she looks does. Perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, well, her hair is not combed, you know what I mean? Yes. They do that intentionally. <laughs> a waste of time. Cinema. This is no, cinema. Day, I don't know why. Is she wearing a wig? She is, right? Um, Possibly. I think she I'll has to be. Out. She has to be. Look how far. I'll keep my eye out. Has anyone ever come up to you and like giving you a drawing that they did of you in public? Me? Fuck yeah. No. Someone's done that to me before. What? It did that, feel a... a little bit weird, but I was actually very flattered was it good? and I liked it. It was beautiful. I feel like it was he handsome or ugly? Permission, I, what's up? Was he handsome or ugly? He was an old guy. Okay. I feel like so that's less that's not threatening. I feel yeah. Like. I feel no. like that only happens in TikToks. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was in high I school. Oh, oh maybe, okay. maybe he was gross. Maybe. No, he was sweet. I don't know. Wait, <laughs> were you guys. anime virgin? Was it anime Olivia or was it right? No, it was like it was like real stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Guys, I'm going back a bit, but uh, I just got a text from Howie. He says he's a dual citizen. Oh, okay. So he's America's oh, uncle. Let's go. America's uncle's back. Yeah. Dual citizen uncle. He's back. Wait. He's back. International nice. uncle. Let me see that. So good. If I'm so sorry, Mia. You didn't deserve that. Oh, they're nice. Yeah. D don't let her get to you. Yeah, right. Oh. No! <laughs> Dude, and again, it's like... This girl would... Her life would be ruined if she posted that on TikTok. Like, straight over. Oh my god. Yeah. Because I've seen. Oh, so sorry. No, go, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. You go. No, you go. No, both of <laughs> you okay, at the same time. Okay, both, yeah, okay I'll count to three. Um, you both talk at the same time. Super quick. I've seen those jeans on Instagram ads, and I've thought that they were cute on the ad, and I'm happy that I'm seeing them now because I don't want them. I don't think. Oh. Darman is saying Darman. these jeans Thank are you, dorky. Darman. <laughs> so sorry, Av. Uh, I was just gonna say, what are these two fucking losers laughing at? That's oh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> How did you know that she was like from 20 feet away? You just ask people laughing, what is that? Yeah, you're weird. <laughs> hey, Mia. Thanks for the views. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. you guys yes. See my yes. <laughs> you're gonna get fucking canceled, bro. <laughs> that woman. I love her. I, so I have to say. Seven. It's insane. She has one objective, and it's to be a bitch. <laughs> The production value of his videos is weirdly high. Oh, yeah. Yes. Like he's yeah. got sets, props, full actors. He's got like background actors. It's bizarre. Well, he, he's, he's saving. Him, him, so. Yeah, I'm saying he's saving money on the actors <laughs> right. for he, the production. We found that out. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, they have a, uh, a very large facility here in LA. They shoot all this in. The like hell? On stage. No. Where? Like, Sweetheart. what is the space How? that they're in? By right. the way. Like in the sketch? Yeah, like where where are we? They're right at now? school. It's cool. Why is there yeah. a barber? A barber? There's a barber. Look, there's a barber's oh. pole in the background. Could be a vocational school. <laughs> That's interesting. I hadn't noticed that. Maybe, Maybe it's just a. It's probably just like a set for everything. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the barber shop over there. It's barber week. All right, when does Sniper Wolf show up? I'm gonna fast forward because oh, we're running out of time. Okay. This I'm, I'm just I noticed in the timeline this is the most watched. Okay. Part. Wait, do you do you need to leave at four thirty? I would like to, yeah. We'll watch so this part. Okay, I think we gotta pin the rest of those well, videos, because uh, uh, this is good shit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just watch this scene. Okay, watch. Yeah, so the mom's giving her advice, you're not that fucking weird. Okay, go ahead, let it play. She's, she's hard on herself. You know, my point is, every person that's trying to make some Shut up, mom. in their lives has to overcome some kind of obstacle, and the obstacles are what make for a great story. Mom, I wanna Yeah, but I don't know if I'm ready to do it. Why don't you go get that? Is it her hero? Okay. Yeah, she met her at Walmart. Nah, really? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no oh way. My God. You're... Why are you a... okay? Wait, what? Right. <laughs> I guess she's. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she's being anime positive, right? Wow. But I don't. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but when I used to be sad, I was hoping Ethan would knock on the door one day in a fucking Goku wearing a, wearing a kimono. Yeah. Inside the house already? <laughs> that is so Dress, I'd be dressed up as like yeah. an imam. What do you call like a, a Islamic uh, uh, preacher? Oh, a sheikh. A sheikh. How do you say it? Sheikh. 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 Mm -hmm. Sheikh. Yeah. I'd come to your house dressed as a sheikh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, I'm Nezuko. But yeah, you must be Mia. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sorry, how do you know my name? Oh my god, I wish I didn't look like this right now. <laughs> You're totally- <laughs> <laughs> No. No! no. <laughs> it's true, anime fans are weird. Dude. <laughs> dude, you guys are freaks right now. <laughs> right she's now. Like, <laughs> she's about to bust out her Uego eyes or whatever. Yeah. She's, she's like, like oh, girl, 
Girl, you are so cool right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she opens the door and is like, oh, you're that loser from TikTok. I saw a TikTok video about you, and I felt super bad. So I reached out to your mom. You knew about this? That's why I was trying to get you to go get ready. Oh, the TikTok is what I'm sorry for what you're viral. going through. That Heather girl sounds like, like one a of the girls that I went to school with that made fun of me. You know, I know that, like, he tells them to overact, but... I don't know if it's hard to tell if it's his direction or if she's just really bad. You were made fun both. of. You've you? got like 30 million subscribers <laughs> now. 32. But I wasn't very popular in high school. I was into anime and the other girls were into boys. Can you like um, emote or something? She's bad, right? She's, yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's trying her best. She's giving too much anti. She's not an actress, so I'm mean, Right. Why should we? Why should we? Yeah. It's Sniper Wolf. Why yeah. should I uh, make <laughs> fun of that? She's helping a bully victim. This is incredible. It, it's probably Darman's fault, though. He has everyone act bad. Yeah, I purpose. mean, nobody comes across well in these, so it, it's probably the direction. But now some of those same girls want to be my friends. It's funny how life works. So when people were mean to you, it didn't make you want to change? Not at all. Because one thing I know is being different is what makes you cool. You do Not at all. It never affected me because I'm not a coward like you are. <laughs> so you can fast forward to like 12 minutes, uh, 22 okay. seconds. 12 Here, I see another peak here. Now, I think you better go change or we're going to be late. Wait, oh, you're going to school with me? Yep. Tanjiro and Nezuko got to stick together, right? Oh, no. <laughs> yes. She's going to get her ass beat after that. <laughs> school is about to get way worse for her. <laughs> So, in conclusion, I want to be a real housewife. Preferably the Beverly Hills cast, but I'm willing to accept New York or the OC, too. Okay, girl, seriously? Shoot for the stars, if I'm being honest. Thank you. That was me clapping. What an interesting goal, Heather. Well, we certainly have some colorful ideas between that and Derek's dream job of creating a pyramid scheme. <laughs> That's cool. Awesome. A little close to Logan home Paul there, is Dar, about man. to come to this call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the city of Oakland might have something to say about that. <laughs> okay, who's next? Uh, Mia, you want to come up? Girl, you need to get your that? ass beat. That's crazy. <laughs> you do not go to school looking like that. I can wait. Well, uh, but they're all dressed up in costumes, to be fair. No, they're not. Hers is extra yeah, they are. bad. Oh, they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're all dressed up as what they want to be when they grow up, which she wants, she wants to be, to be a an anime character. warrior. <laughs> yeah, she wants mm. to be. A she wants to be a demon slayer. <laughs> she wants to slay demons. Okay, okay. I apologize then <laughs> to this fictional character. This is gonna be cool. <laughs> Dude, what if she just? What if she like? <laughs> I'd probably say something like that to my. I, that, like, those were my. Guys, that was my ready. thoughts. Yeah. This could go so sideways. She like loses it and impales them both with a massive real sword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's about to go. Jeremy's scary. got a gun style. <laughs> Third form. So uh, I decided to dress up as my favorite anime character, Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. That wasn't the assignment's career day. I hope day. to create Literally. my own anime series. <laughs> That'd be Dan in class. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, Heather. <laughs> Sorry, Mia, keep going. Uh, what steps can someone take to become an anime creator? I'm gonna skip forward. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Anime what is this? Teacher needs losers. to get a hold yeah, of this classroom. You need, to, wait, you need to leave it. Oh, yeah, she walked in. Oh. <gasps> you gotta go. You, wait, you gotta go to where she walks in. <laughs> no! Because they act like the president because walked of your in. your video, I was able to meet. Hello, no! friends. No! Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Who the it's fuck is that? Sniper Wolf! Here. <laughs> it's and here is Mia's dude. friend. The best reactor on YouTube. I'm also on a special project. A special project? Yeah. I've Maybe if it was like Mr. Beast. Right. Snipe? S -s -s Sniper Wolf? I'm <laughs> <laughs> on my own anime series, but I haven't found the right person to collab with until I found Mia. So we're going to produce a show together and I'll promote it on my channel. <laughs> Mia, you're making a show with Sniper Wolf? <laughs> That's so cool. You're gonna be famous. What are you guys talking about? Anime is for total losers. I think my subscribers would disagree. But thanks for oh. making that TikTok. Because that's how I found Mia. All right, I gotta wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We get the idea. It's Thank inspirational. You. I'm glad it all worked out. My favorite part was the... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just sum up the ending. 
-hmm. she becomes successful creator anime creator and in the future she's dating chase and that girl the bully walks in for a job oh okay i gotta see that (laughs) Ooh. A job at the animation studio she runs? I think it's just like a secretary or something. There we go. I gotta see that. Heather. I like that. It's almost like, it's not that inspirational because it's kind of mean, like the ending. It's like, you're fucked, bitch. What now? (laughs) Help run our social media. It's actually going to become a housewife. She would have been good. Oh, running the social media. Tell my mom I'll be there at 7 and I'm coming right now for the meeting. And your first task can be making us some coffee. Like she's oh, vindictive. Yeah. I, she's like, and and then when you become successful, you'll be able to hold it over people's head mm-hmm. and get revenge on broke, unsuccessful idiots. Uh, I can do that. I'm just kidding. You can help run our. I'm just system. fucking with you, bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, look, she's gonna be gracious. No, she just help run the social media. Dude, she just dunked mm. on her. She's like, get coffee. She said, just kidding. You don't have yeah, to do she, that. She goes, I'm just kidding. Get the fuck it's out of my house. It's humiliating. Social media. Get out of I my sight. I pretty good at that. Uh, <laughs> oh, another yeah, burn. Um, sorry about that, by the way. But that sounds good. Great. HR will get you started. Oh, and Mia. Thank you again. I'm going to puke. This is so dumb. She's plotting something. Hey, hey, She's going to make her life miserable. Bringing, there's Chase. Oh. Bro, they're shooting this out of like a dentist's office. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, honey. Yo, is he is so hot right now. Can I say now. hi to Sniper Wolf? This business Wolf. casual okay. wardrobe is right. Video games aren't the okay. best. Okay. All right, there it is. Uh, okay. We love we love a good revenge story. Woo! All right, guys, that's wow. it for today. Thank you, everybody, for being here. We love you all so very much. Tomorrow morning, we'll be back for Leftovers. That's yeah, right. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah. me and Hassan will be sitting here locked in... Uh, Mortal Kombat, except not physical and not really combat. Right. Is that good? That, I'm sure, yeah. And we got some good stuff to talk about tomorrow. In particular, uh, Crowder's life continues oh. to just crumble. I it's love, very, very enjoyable. Love, love, uh, love, his, love, um, love. his analytics, somebody did an analysis on his views, <laughs> and it is brutal. It's brutal. so bad. He's like, he's dead in the water. So that's good news. All right. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And then we'll be back on Friday for After Dark. But until then, have a beautiful evening. Love you guys so much. And we'll see you tomorrow. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs>